Over the past month, I created some of the best myth-busting episodes in GTA 5. To myths which shop, to myths that actually work, to even some of the scariest myths which you should never try in GTA 5. There's more than 300 myths to check out, and I've even included a few new ones in this movie as well. If you enjoy, smash like, and don't forget to subscribe. But grab the popcorn, and let's get into it. Can you push grenades using just explosions? I've got a sticky, I'm gonna throw that down, and then let's just lob like a grenade right next to it. Alright, three, two, one, throw that down, and blow it up. Oh my days, you can't. That moved. That literally moved. <laughs> that myth is true. If you shoot the rockets at the buzzard, will the rockets explode? Let's find out. Three, two, one. Nothing yet. Come on, dude. Uh, surely it's got to explode. I'm literally shooting the rockets. Nothing? Are you kidding me? Come on. Come on, dude. I'm literally shooting at the rockets. It's really strange. No explosion yet. What if I use a sniper? <gasps> Whoa, boy, that actually worked. <laughs> All right, it takes a while, but you can explode helicopters by just shooting the rockets. If I block the nozzle of a tank with stickies, will the tank explode when I fire out of the nozzle? I have literally just blocked the entire nozzle. There is no way you can fire out of that thing. The question is, will this blow my tank up? Three, two, one. <gasps> what? It doesn't blow it up, dude. The stickies bounce. That's crazy. Look at them. Way. <laughs> That's so cool. Myth busted. If you throw down a tin of tear gas, it will begin to kill you very slowly. Check this out. As you can see, I'm now suffocating. But when you get inside vehicles, you stop suffocating because you're inside a vehicle. Now, here's the myth. Will I still suffocate if I break the glass of my car? I think we will. You know, if we've broken the glass, then it's going to come inside the car. Easy. I want broken. So that one. Get the back window too. Can't forget about that. And then final window. Windscreen is done. All right. Let's see. Am I still going to take damage when I jump inside the car? Let's do four, actually. All right, there we go. There's four tear gas down. I'm inside my car. I'm going to park really close to the tear gas, so I'm definitely in the smoke, and I'm not taking damage. Wow, guys, you are invincible from tear gas, even when your windows are smashed. Can you stun people through the windshield of their car? I've got a taxi driver. Oh, no, that didn't work. All right, let me try that again. Hey, buddy, can you just hold still? <gasps> oh, man, myth busted. You can't stun people through their windshield. Now can I stun him? I can! Oh, my days. All right, you can't stun people through glass. What do you know? If you honk your horn at a police officer, will you get a one to level? I found a police car, and I'm gonna try this out. Oh, my days. He's driving like a maniac. Honk, honk. This guy is not going after me. I am literally honking my horn so much at his car, and he's not going after me. Well, guys, myth busted. The police officer will not go after you, even if... Oh, jeez, I just crashed into his car. Myth busted. The police officer will not go after you if you honk your horn at their car. But what happens if I honk my horn at an actual police officer? Like someone walking around. There are two police officers right here. I'm gonna follow the rules and, you know, not go on the curb. So this is not bias. And I'm gonna honk my horn. What are they gonna do? Am I gonna get a one to level? I am literally holding down the horn right now. <laughs> come on, guys. Are you gonna come after me or what? Oh my days. Dude, I just made an enemy. <laughs> guys, come on. He's gonna throw me out of my car. Yeah, they don't care. I'm not getting a one to level for this. All I've done is annoyed people. All right, I'm off. Myth busted again. The police don't come after you if you honk your horn at them. Can you hijack a 747 jet? when you're standing on top of it. <laughs> I'm so high up. Don't slip, Franklin, whatever you do. All right, let's test this out. I'm gonna stand right above the cockpit and three, two, one. <gasps> I did, I just threw him out. <laughs> you can hijack these planes, that's so cool. You can blow up cars using one bullet from the heavy revolver, apparently. I don't believe this, but I'm gonna give it a go. You gotta shoot the car like in the sweet spot. I think it's somewhere around there. That's not blowing up. <gasps> What? Two shots? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I blew up the car with two shots. Myth busted, but that's still pretty cool. If you land a helicopter in the prison, somebody will take it. Let's see if this is true. If I was in prison and someone left a helicopter around, I mean, why wouldn't you take it? This is your gate to freedom. You could just escape. Take it down. I'm gonna leave it right next to these two prisoners. Guys, you got a free helicopter. Enjoy. Now, I'm gonna watch this from up here. Is anybody gonna take that helicopter? Nobody seems bothered by it. I don't see anyone making a run for it dude. The guards are actually chasing that guy. Someone is trying to escape. I'm not gonna lie. Out of all the myths, I thought this one would work, but uh, no one's taking the helicopter, guys. If the hill you're climbing is too steep to climb like this one, yeah, I'm not getting past that, Trevor. If you pull out your gun and aim down the sights, apparently you can then climb the hill. Let's see if this works. Trevor, you're doing it, buddy. You're doing it, man. I'm not falling back. Check it out, guys. And then a bit of zigzagging and away we go. Yo, this actually works? Are you kidding me? Wow. <laughs> I just climbed a hill which was way too steep to climb. Check it out, guys. Now,
Now I'm at the top of the hill. That myth is true. I love that myth. If two characters are in the maze, will they speak to each other through a hedge? I've got Trevor here, and I'm bringing Franklin straight over. You know how when you bring two characters together, they can start talking and trying to hang out? If they can't see each other, but they're still nearby, are they gonna know they're there? Okay, Franklin is there, and Trevor is right in there. There is an entire path between us. Now, if I stand right in front of Trevor, but on the other side of the hedge, will they speak to each other? All I gotta do is go around this hedge. No, they're not. Interesting. All right, so that myth is busted. They won't speak to each other when they can't see each other. That is interesting. And then if I just go through the hedge, now they're talking. That's really cool. I thought they would speak to each other, to be honest, guys. I thought they would. I've got a five-star wonder level, and if I climb this ladder and then stay on the ladder, will the police climb up the ladder after me? Like, what are they gonna do? I'm gonna be totally protected. The police are gonna be right below us, Franklin. Are they gonna climb the ladder after us? What are they gonna do? Like, <laughs> there is no other way they can shoot me. I wanna see what's happening down there. Let's use my camera. Where are the police officers? There is literally a guy right here. Is he gonna climb the ladder? What? Dude, he is literally standing right at the bottom and he's not climbing the ladder. What is going on? This is so strange. I've lost the wanted level. That is insane. <laughs> police officers will not climb ladders. What do you know? If you go to Vespucci Beach, there's a bunch of these lifeguard areas. There's this lifeguard. There's another one down there. There's another one down there. There's several of these. And inside each one of them is a lifeguard looking out for people who might be in distress. Now, I'm gonna take someone out in the sea, so they're in distress and they need saving. Will the lifeguard chase after them? I think they will. All right, Franklin, here goes nothing. Let's take him out. Three, two, one. There we go. He's down. Is the lifeguard gonna save him? She's not saving him, dude. I literally took someone out in the sea and she is not saving him. If you throw Molotovs at water, the water will beat the fire. Let's see if this is actually true. I'm gonna throw one on the edge. That blew up. We've got a bit of fire in the water. All right, let's throw this one in the water. Oh! <gasps> What? That's true. That's so cool. Check it out, guys. The Molotovs don't even explode. Well, let's try this again with tear gas. Will water put out tear gas as well? I'm going to throw one in the water. It is a gas after all. It shouldn't come out. It's not even blowing up. That is crazy. Oh, my days. Well, guys, that myth is also true. Wow. If you have a wanted level and you drive off a cliff, police officers will drive off after you. Let's see if this actually works. Could you imagine if this does? That would be the coolest myth ever. There's a couple of police cars driving down. Now, let's see if they follow me down this cliff. Is this guy here? Oh, yes, he is. All right, let's go, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> Are you gonna come along? Oh my days, he did. <laughs> Are you crazy, bro? He drove up after me. What? If you have a five-star wonder level and you're on top of Mount Chiliad, police cars don't drive up the mountain after you. And check this out. This actually works. The only people after me are police helicopters. I'm gonna blow that guy up. And this one, bam. Let me just see. Are there any police cars around? Dude, there is no one around. It's just people and helicopters. Well, that myth actually works. I didn't realize that would work. I thought police cars would drive up. If you steal a car and then drive past a police officer. Will the police officer chase after you and recognize it's a stolen car? I've just stolen this massive vehicle. It's quite a nice one, to be honest. Now, I'm gonna cool a police officer. These guys didn't even report it to the police. Like, I don't have a one to level or anything for stealing this car. If you're asking me, I don't think I'm gonna get a one to level, to be honest. The police officer is right down there, and now he's gonna drive over to me. <laughs> is he gonna recognize my car? Let's find out. He is literally two cars behind me now. <gasps> Amazing! They don't recognize it. That's so cool. Myth busted. Police officers will not come after you. He's going after that guy, though. What did he do? <laughs> Wouldn't want to be that guy. According to this next myth, you will take less falling damage if you land on sand instead of concrete. Let's see if that actually works. I'm going to throw Franklin straight off, and here we go. Oh, my days I died. All right, there is no way we are not going to die if we jump on concrete. If I survive this jump, I'm going to be shocked. Oh, my days. Coming through. <laughs> All right, we died on both sides. I'm going to lower the container just a little bit more this time. All right, let's try this again. Onto the sand. Okay, a little bit of damage. Not too much. Not bad, Franklin. Not bad. Now, let's try this on the concrete. That was a soft landing. Am I going to get the same landing on the concrete? even softer. Guys, I don't think there's any difference between this. I still die if I land on the sand. I still die if I go on the concrete. And I barely take any damage if we just land on either one of them. There is a roller coaster in GTA 5, but if I put sticky bombs on the track, will they blow them up and blow the carriage off the track when I drive over it? Let's see. They are definitely on the track now. There is no way we are not going over that. The moment it does, they're gonna blow up and it's gonna take the car off the track. I just know it. Just in case though, let's put down some proximities. So these are like trip marks. 
mines. All you need to do is get a little bit too close and they will explode. Now the track is loaded up, what happens when I get on the roller coaster? Let's see. They're not even there. What? I can't even blow them up. That is so weird. Oh my days, that's so weird. Well, I've just skipped that. That's a waste of $15. Myth busted. I'm lying as flat as I can. And that means the train might be able to go over me. Do you think it will? Let's see if it does. Oh, I don't like this, you know, guys. We're sticking up a bit too much, Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> if we were, like, just underneath the tracks, then I would have better hopes for this. Oh, man, I'm so nervous. Please, are we gonna be okay? We might fit under the train. I can see a gap. I can see a gap. Oh, man. <laughs> Guys, it doesn't work. The train still kills you. I have no guns on me. Nothing at all. But if you steal a police car, apparently you will get a free shotgun. All right, don't look, guys. I'm just taking a police car. <laughs> all right, I'm inside. Let's just get away from that wanted level. All right, let's just get away from those officers. Fantastic. <laughs> I have a massive wanted level. All right, let's get out of this car. Do I have a shotgun? I do! That's so cool! You get a free shotgun if you steal a police car. If you shoot at water tanks, water will spray out of it. Let's see. I'm shooting the same spot, and I don't see any water coming out of this. Nothing. Nothing at all. I have shot the same place like seven times now. No water. Guys, I hate to say it. Myth busted. These things are indestructible. Can you wash away fuel using just a fire truck? Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Hey, whatever you do, buddy, you do not want to drive over this. Trust me. <laughs> All right, that's enough fuel for now. I'm going to jump in my fire truck. Let's see if I can wash this away. Okay, I'm spraying exactly where I put that fuel. <gasps> no way, you can. That's amazing. <laughs> Check it out, guys. There is no more fuel on the ground. The rotors of a buzzard will destroy a blimp. This is the blimp over here. I'm going to crash straight into it. So the rotors are like digging into the side. Oh, seriously? How did they not explode? What? <gasps> They're literally digging into the blimp and it's not exploding. What? That is insane. Oh my days. It's going to destroy my helicopter before I destroy the blimp. That is so crazy. The blimp is like indestructible to helicopter rotors. You can set fire to the blimp by pouring gasoline on top of it. Hang on a second. Where is that going? Guys, I don't know about you, but that is not landing on the blimp. What if I... What? That's crazy. It is not landing on the blimp. Guys, you can't pour gasoline on the blimp. Bust it. You can annoy pedestrians if you flash your headlights at them. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> Do you reckon they'll be annoyed? All right, there's two guys over here. Hey, hey, who wants to party? Who wants to party? Who wants to party? What? They're not being annoyed? I would be annoyed. They don't get annoyed if you flash your headlights at them. Well, you have a good day now, buddy. You have a good day. <laughs> if you get a one to level at nighttime and turn off your headlights and then park anywhere in a dark place, the police officers will then lose you. I don't believe this works. If it does, I will be impressed. So let's turn off my headlights. I'm going to pull into this alleyway just off the street. In fact, let's be comical about this. I'm going to park my car right in this bit, okay? I am just off the street in a parking spot. Are they still going to spot me? Dude, that one's going down the wrong road. What? There is a helicopter in the sky. I don't believe this myth works. No, he lost me. He was literally just around the corner. <laughs> This myth actually works. If you wear a motorcycle helmet and put down tear gas, will you still be affected by the tear gas? I put two cans down and I'm not dying. No, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm still dying. <laughs> the tear gas will get you even when you're wearing a motorcycle helmet. That sucks. I've been told that if you're flying a helicopter, you can fly into trees and chop the leaves off. It, well, hold on, I think it works. Are you guys seeing this? There's leaves being thrown out of the tree. All right, let's go a little bit closer. There it is, guys. Do you see that? Leaves are coming out of the tree. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> the attention to detail. You can chop leaves off trees. I'm driving a truck and I've got a trailer on the back. If I pick the truck up with the cargo bob, will the trailer come with it? I've never tried anything like this. No, 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 I got the trailer. Drop the tra drop the trailer. No, <laughs> I picked up the trailer. Come on. Well, uh, if you pick up the trailer, it doesn't come with the truck. Let me try this again. I need to get the truck. Oh, man, it is literally dragging on the truck. Why? Please, I just want to get the truck. Not the trailer, not the trailer, the truck. Oh, I got it. I got the truck. Now, is the trailer going to come up with it? Ah, oh, myth busted. It doesn't, guys. It detaches straight away. Can you pick up a cargo bob with another cargo bob? I have never tried this out, but I'm going to give it a go. 
I gotta go really low for this. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I dragged it on the side. We gotta get this right on the top. Please, please. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it, pick it, pick it. Ah, oh, man, nothing. <laughs> I missed first. You can't. If you fly too high in the sky, the sticky bombs will explode on your plane. Does this work? Let's find out. I'm covering this plane with sticky bombs. All the way from the front, maybe some in the middle, on the wings. Let's do some of the rockets just for fun. All right, that's a lot of sticky bombs. Now, I'm gonna go as high as I can. And apparently, if you hit a certain altitude, every single sticky is gonna explode. All right, as high as we can go, Franklin. As high as we can go. Now, I can't bring the wheels in because if I do, I will detonate every single one of those stickies. So hopefully, we can still get the altitude with the wheels out. I'm going pretty high up now. I've given this plane a 100% boost, which means we can now go even faster, even higher than before. Oh my days, that works! That is awesome! If you break a certain height in the sky, the stickies will explode! If you rob the same store over and over again, the shopkeeper will begin to recognize you. Excuse me, buddy, I want all of the money. Give me every single dollar you have. Screw that highlighter, screw the bag of chips. <laughs> Thanks, man, you're a legend. Now let's go back to the exact same store. Hey, man, do you remember me? Yo, he does! Oh my days, he, he recognizes me! <laughs> All right, Franklin, I got a one-star one level for literally walking inside his store. If you're using Trevor's ability, you have increased strength. Does that mean you can survive the train? Use that ability of yours, buddy. Oh, my days. No way. Is he gonna... Oh, he survived! Whoa! Trevor will survive the train. That is amazing. If you throw stickies on a beach fire, the beach fire will blow up the stickies. This is making me really nervous. What? What? What is going on? Why are they not exploding? They're not exploding. What? What? <laughs> what is going on, dude? They're not exploding. If your player is dirty and you jump in the sea, it will wash you clean. Let's see if this actually works. I hate to break it to you, but I don't see any difference. I, I still have that patch on my back. I think we've been swimming long enough, to be honest. Now, let's get out. You would think it would. You know, it's only logical. But no, I'm still just as dirty as I was when I went in. Believe it or not, you can get your car washed in GTA 5. But the question is, if you put a sticky bomb on your car, go into the car wash. Will it wash the sticky bomb off? Could you imagine if these explode. <laughs> Maybe that should have been the question. I'm gonna go into that car wash and see what happens. Give me a good old wash. The stickies have disappeared. They've disappeared on my car. Oh my days. Guys, they have literally just disappeared. If I leave this car wash and they're gone, then this myth actually exists. <gasps> What? It worked! I've been told that if you call the police to Grove Street, the police officers will start fighting with the residents here. Oh boy, this might get interesting. Nothing at all. They're driving away. Myth busted. They will not fight each other. That's good. That's great. <laughs> Keep the peace. Chop, come on with me, buddy. <laughs> now I've got Chop. All he needs to do is follow me up here, get inside my car, and I want to see what happens if I bail from a car whilst it's moving. Will Chop bail with me, or will he stay inside the car? I've never tried this one, so I'm actually really interested to see what happens. Will Chop bail or will he stay in the car? Let's go really, really fast. And then three, two, one, bail. What do you know? That's actually real. <laughs> I'm going to try this again, but this time I'm going to be flying through the sky. There is no way the car can stop if I do that. Bail. Whoa. Oh my day. <laughs> ow. Ow. Jeez. Did you see that, dude? The car literally just stopped in midair. So me and Chop could get out of it. Chop, are you good? He's alive. Oh my days. You can't bail from a car when Chop's inside it. That is amazing. First two myths, real. For this next myth, if you press the subscribe button on my channel right now, then you will actually get some money. Like, give it a go. Try it out, guys. It's somewhere around the video. Find the subscribe button and press it now. Has it worked? Wait, I I'm being given some money. Wait, oh, man, this is this must be how the myth works. Every time you subscribe, Franklin gets the money. Oh, man, myth busted. But hey, that's pretty cool. So apparently, Chop can defeat anything in this world, including a mountain lion. Let's find out. Oh, yes. Oh, my days to go. Oh, my days. Yo, Chop, get up. Get up, buddy. Come on. No way. Did the mountain lion win? Are you kidding me? That was so quick. Wow. Wow. Okay, guys, that miss busted. Chop cannot defeat any animal. The mountain lion is literally stronger than Chop. Okay, let me just check this. Chop's, yeah, zero health. Myth busted. Apparently, there is a map of GTA 6 on the boardwalk in GTA 5. And is this it? Oh, wow. They were right. This is, like, of GTA 5? Yeah, I've just checked the map and, like, nowhere lines up with this one. This is literally unique. It's come from nowhere. Well, guys, you'll have to judge this one. Is it GTA 6 or is it busted? I guess we'll have to find out in the future. That's pretty cool. I've got a 
two-star wanted level. If we switch a car in the middle of the level where no one sees me, will we lose the wanted level? So there's the police officers, two cars, and I need to find a secret spot where they don't see me. They recognize my car. That's what they're chasing. Now, let's just go a little bit far away. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, there's a guy here. I need to get out a car in the driveway so no one reports this. Oh, man, come on. There's got to be... Oh, yeah, a car, a car. Found one, found one, found one. Get out. We got to do this quickly. We got to do this really quickly. Grab this one. Any police cars? Come on, Franklin. Get in. This is so tense. Okay, I got in a car. I don't think the police saw me. Let's just drive away. There we go. There's a police officer here. He definitely didn't see me switch the car. Oh, man. Myth busted. He was coming over to me, and now I got my wanted level. Let's try that one more time, just in case. I've managed to sneak away from the police. I'm switching my car again. This time, I'm going to go for this one. I don't see any police officers around. And let's get moving again. They, they definitely didn't see me switch that car now. Like, oh, no way did they see me do that. Now, let's just keep on driving as if nothing ever happened. I don't see any officers. Oh, my days. Wait, hold on. There's a guy right there. I don't think he's gonna go after me. Oh my days. It worked. I lost my wanted level. If you switch the car in the middle of a chase when they don't see you, you lose the wanted level. Myth success. Apparently you can slash tires in GTA 5. So let's just give this a go. I've got a knife. All right, how are we gonna do this? Can we just start like, I can't even use the knife. What? It won't even let me like get the car with this knife. Oh, there we go. I'm just kicking the tire. Franklin, use your brain. We got a knife. You can't slash tires. Oh, let me try this again. I'm gonna use, like, a bigger knife this time. Let's go for, for this. Like, a proper dagger. Oh, my days. He's still kicking the car. Hey, I gotta find a bigger car. Let's get, like, a tractor. I've got a tractor right here. I'm gonna try and, like, slash the tires on this one. Let's... Just kick him? Oh my days, yo Franklin, he doesn't want to slash the tires. Man, he's not using his brain. Well, that's that myth busted. You can't slash tires in GTA. For this next myth, I'm gonna see if Chop will fetch a ball if I throw it in the water. Apparently Chop is terrified of water, so let's just find out. First of all, actually, let's just play fetch. Do you want to get that ball? So that one is like just on the edge. Oh, oh, yo, did you see that? The moment the water went in the sea, Chop just like stopped. He did not want to get that ball. That is so interesting. Don't worry, Chop, I got another ball. So let's, let's throw this one like there. Yeah, so he wants to play fetch, but if it goes in the water, I don't think he will play fetch with you. Let's just try that one more time. Let's throw it like there. Oh, wow, he does not want to go in the sea. Well, guys, Chop won't go in the sea with you, so that's that. Do phones stop bullets? Let's find out. This guy's just taking a phone call. That is right next to his head. Oh, my days. This is going to be so risky. So I'm going to use a sniper rifle for maximum accuracy, and I'm going to shoot just the phone. No way. That phone stopped the bullet. Let me, let me try that again. No, 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 no. Oh, my days. Okay, <laughs> let's try it again from, like, the front. Dude, that literally stopped the bullet. If that didn't, that would have gone straight through him. That stopped the bullet as well. Oh my days, that's amazing. And then let me just show you. He wasn't even invincible, guys. I, phone stop bullets. Well, myth success. I've got a tow truck, and I want to find out if I can actually tow someone else's police car. So there's a guy over here. He's trying to get me. I got a two-star one to level. You're getting out now? Come on, stop. Stop, stop. Yes, yes. Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. Bring it down. Please work. Come on, you gotta work. You gotta work, dude. <laughs> Okay, let's go for this guy instead. Oh my days, these guys are not helping, man. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Have I got him? <gasps> Hold on. I got him. I got... <laughs> I got someone's police car. No way. See you guys. See you. You can tow police cars. That's awesome. Well, what do you know, guys? Myth success. Now I just got to lose the wanted level. What happens if you litter in front of a police officer? So currently I'm holding a coffee and I've got this menu up, which lets me drop the coffee. So, oh, lovely coffee this morning, isn't it, guys? Lovely coffee. All right. Three, two, one. Drop the coffee. They don't care. Amazing. So there we go. You, you can litter in front of a police officer and they won't get you. Myth busted. <laughs> So apparently, if you stand under the really hot sun, which is uh, right there, you will actually sweat. I've never actually looked at the game this much, but I'm going to give it a go. Do we actually sweat? Let's see, Franklin, are we sweating? I mean, the back kind of looks a bit sweaty, to be honest. Oh, wow. Yeah, we, we definitely sweat. This is insane. Look at us now. All I did was stand here, dude. Okay, so it took me about like 10 minutes, but we did finally sweat. His hair is soaked right now, and uh, yeah, I mean, it works. Look at, look at my trousers, dude. They were white before. <laughs> That's crazy. Myth success, what can I say? For this next myth, I want to find out if Chop can swim. Let's see, I'm just going to go in the ocean. He's in the water. Oh my days, he dies? Chop literally dies when he gets in the water. That is crazy. He can't swim. Myth busted. For this next myth, what happens if you delete yourself? So I've got this mod here, which literally allows me to delete myself. This is me. Check it out. This is who I'm playing as, and I can control my own character. So all I gotta do is right click, press on delete. What happens if you delete yourself in GTA 5? No way. You can't delete yourself. Well, that explains it. Myth busted. You can't delete yourself. Do helmets stop bullets? Let's find out. 
No, they don't. Okay. Well, he was short-lived. Myth busted. So apparently, you can destroy cable cars. I'm going to find out by shooting this one right now. Is that going to hit it? Oh, this is so tricky, dude. Oh, I got it. No way. You can't. That fell off. That literally fell off, dude. Check that out. There's the cable car. Myth success. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, you can hang out with all three characters at the same time. So to do this, you phone up Michael, and then you phone up Trevor. All right, got Trevor on the phone. Beautiful. All right, so now they should, like, both be on my map. There's Michael. Is Trevor there? Where's... Oh, there's Trevor. No way. You can. That's amazing. Let's go and see what Michael's up to. Can I pick them both up then? No way. So Michael's in my car now. Now, I've just met up with him. And is Trevor still... He's still there. Amazing. Right, so this is where Trevor wants to meet. Is he gonna... Oh, my days. There he is. Yo, you can. That's awesome. Check it out. I got Michael telling me his life story. And is Trevor gonna come and hang out? Oh, my days. You can do it. Myth success, ladies and gentlemen. So there we go. If you want to hang out with all three characters, now you know how to do that. And when you're hanging out with all the characters, apparently you can, like, play golf together. No way. You can all play golf together. That's awesome. What is Trevor? He's... He's got his own golf cart. That is amazing. Okay, let's just go to the first tee. So there we go. Franklin, Michael, and Trevor. You're officially hanging out together. How cool is that? Can you drive into the military base when you're in a police car? There is only one way to find out. All right, let's go to Fort San Cuzzo. Is there someone on the gate? There is. Hey, buddy, I'm in a police car. Can you let me in? I got sirens. I don't think he's gonna let me in. Buddy, I'm here. I'm on business. Oh my days. No, he's not letting me in. No, no they won't let you in. They won't let you in, guys. <laughs> Yeah. Myth busted, you can't go in the military base in a police car. Can anybody break into the Pacific Standard Bank? So here I am, just inside chilling. It's kind of empty, actually. There is, like, no one here. That is so weird. Okay, can we go through here, then? Let's see. Can we... Oh, I can? No way! And then can we go through here? Oh, my days. Dude, you can just go straight down. Does that mean I can go, like, into the vault? Oh, what if I just blow open the vault door, then? Let's put some stickies on the door. Place that one there, and then, like, this one here. Do we get to blow open the door? Let's find out. No way! No way! You can break in! No, 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 no! Oh, man, this is gonna be really tricky. All right, let's do that again. I'm gonna stay, like, here, and then... Oh, seriously? Come on! How, how am I supposed to open this up, huh? All right, attach that on there. Boom, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, we're going in. I'm in the vault, no way. You can break in here just like as you want to. And wait, hold on, is there like anything in here? There is like no one in here. There's nothing, there's no gold, no cash, no anything. Let's see, can we like open up these? I'm in the vault, I wanna steal some cash. Let me, let me, let me steal some cash. Nah, guys, you can get in the vault, but you can't really steal anything. That kind of sucks. <laughs> but hey, mid success. For some reason, Michael doesn't have a shower in his house. Not even a bath. Like, it's not like the entire family wash. But there's this other secret room inside Michael's house, which is also locked, and you can't get inside it. Maybe the shower or, like, a bath is inside there. That's what people are saying. Let's just take a look. Oh, wait, hold up. There is, like, there is this little room here. Wow, you can walk around, but it is, like, totally empty. That is so weird. Why didn't they, like, make this into a room? That doesn't make any sense to me. Whoa, hold on. I can, like, see down. There's my maid. This is awesome. So, like, there's nothing in there. Kind of busted, but it's still pretty cool inside here. <laughs> awesome. When you play golf, you can actually, like, hit the ball at other players. Okay, this is gonna really hurt Trevor, but I don't care. <laughs> You can hit the other characters. That's awesome. Mid success. You can. I, I kind of want to mess around with this, though. What else can you do with golf balls? That's so weird. So they got to, like, play all of their shots, and I didn't. All right, can we, like, hit the ball out of the golf course then? Screw this. <laughs> you can hit the ball out of the course. That is amazing. I love it. Oh, my days. You guys got to have fun with this. All right, that's, that's another awesome myth done. I'm playing as Michael DeSanta, and right now I have no money. Apparently, if you have no money, then everything changes in this world. So let's see if that actually happens. So are we going to keep our house? Can I even go inside? Am I locked out of the house now? No, I can go inside. They haven't locked me out of the house. Amanda doesn't look too happy though. <laughs> uh, maybe maybe she's uh, a bit unhappy because I lost all my money. But other than that, like I can still do everything. Like power's on, water's on. So what do you know? You can survive on no money in GTA 5. You just got to make sure you have a house, a family, a couple of cars and, and you're playing as Michael D. Santa. <laughs> Either way, myth busted. I've got a tow truck and you can tow anything you want to with this. From like SUVs to tanks to lorries to buses. All you gotta do is go up to the car and tow it along, just like this guy. So I'm towing him. <laughs> now, apparently, you can tow actual ATM boxes. Now, I wanna find out if you can tow an ATM box. So this is the cash point, and I'm gonna try and open it up by just using my tow truck. Does it hook onto anything? Is that possible? Can we. Oh, hold on. I think it is lifting onto something. No, 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 no. No, I don't think that works. Okay, let me... I'm gonna get a different tow truck. I've got a much bigger tow truck this time, and I'm gonna see if we can open up an ATM using this. 
All right, there we go. No, nothing yet. Let's do it again. It's not hooking on to anything. No, you can't open up an ATM. I, I'm pretty sure they're indestructible. Myth busted. If you blow up a water hydrant, then it will send water into the sky. And apparently that water will, like, send you flying if you jump into it. Let's find out. Hey. Oh, oh, hold on. Come on, come on, come on. Let me, let me in. Let me, come on. Come on, man. You gotta send me up. Come on. Okay, well, water hydrants don't send you flying. Well, that myth is busted. I've called a taxi to Franklin's house. This guy will drive me anywhere I want to in the entire world. And for that reason, will the taxi driver take me to an actual island? I'm gonna choose a pretty big island so there's plenty of space like this one. The closest road to the island is over on the dump site. So I, will the taxi driver take me there or will he take me to the island? Let's find out. I'm gonna choose the destination and and we're gonna skip the entire journey. Let's go. Oh, man, he didn't take me to the island. He took me to the quarry. Oh, my days. Well, I suppose that myth is busted. What if I call a taxi to the military base? I'm trying this again. I'm not giving up. All right, buddy, I want to see if you can drive me to the military base. So the military base is right here. There's no official roads, but I'm guessing, like, if I put my waypoint there, it's going to put me somewhere in the military base. Let's see if he will drive me there. The meter says Fort Sankuto. Let's just skip the whole journey and see what where we end up. Come on, buddy. Will he take me to Fort San Kuto? Oh, he won't even go inside. That's so frustrating. So now we know. Is he going to turn around? Yeah, he's going to turn around. Even he won't go inside. Interesting. You won't take full damage as long as you're riding a bicycle. Let's see how real that is. Oh, my days. This is such a bad idea. <laughs> All right, Michael, get ready. Get ready. What? I just went straight off the building? Are you kidding me? All right, guys, I'm okay. I just, I literally just jumped off a building on a bike. <laughs> Legs are fine, everybody. That is amazing. Wow. Success. If you throw down a grenade, you can shoot grenades to keep them moving. Let's find out. So I'm going to throw that one down there. And then shoot, shoot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, man, that didn't work. That didn't work. Let me try that one more time. No way. It's still rolling towards me. That's lit. You can't shoot grenades away from you. Interesting. Myth busted. What happens if you delete Trevor? So Trevor's outside his uh, house throwing grenades, I think. And uh, yeah, before he throws another one. Oh my days. No, Trevor, don't do it. Don't do it. Delete. <laughs> no way. I can't delete. Why can't I delete Trevor? That is so strange. So I can delete Michael, but I can't delete Trevor. What? All right, this this myth is busted. You can't delete Trevor, but you can delete Michael. That's so weird. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Trevor, you're some mysterious person, man. You will survive falling from any height as long as you land in water. Let's see if this myth is true. I'm gonna jump out of my helicopter and we're just gonna fall down. Oh my days, are we belly flopping? This is gonna be really painful, Franklin. <laughs> Jeez, I'm in the deep end really far out from sea. Are we gonna survive this one? Oh, no, you don't. You die if you hit the water. I'm sorry, guys. Myth busted. Apparently, cats can survive any height in GTA 5. So let's just try this out. I've got one on top of Maze Bank. Basically, that's the highest we can get. And I'm just going to walk the cat straight off and see if you survive. So let's put you right on the ledge. I think that's pretty good. Okay, the cat's gone. Let's see. Where are you? Oh, there it is. I can see it, dude. It's coming down. It's coming down. It's coming down. Uh, are you alive? Did it survive? Oh, man. It didn't survive. Cats don't survive every height in GTA. Yeah, look at that. Health zero. Myth busted. You can race anyone in GTA 5. All you need to do is drive up to a car and then... Is it honk? Is that what you do? Okay, that's not doing anything. What if you rev? Hold on. This guy's going. Are we are we racing now? Are we having a race? Yo, I think we're having a race. This guy's actually going, like, pretty fast. <laughs> We're having a proper- Oh my days, you can race them! Look at this guy, he's going crazy on the other side of the road! All you gotta do is rev your engine next to them at the lights and you can literally race them. Where are we going to, huh? Oh my days, they're going so fast right now. Watch out for the truck, buddy. I beat you! <laughs> Mid success. That's awesome. What happens if you walk past a police officer whilst holding a rocket launcher? There we go. I've got my rocket launcher and we're just going to walk straight past this guy who's enjoying his coffee. What a lovely day it is, isn't it? Do you like my rocket launcher? I'm not going to point here. I'm not going to do anything crazy. We're just going to stand here, carry on with my day. Does he really not care? He's interested. He's looking at me, but he's not doing anything. Wow. What do you know? Mid success. This guy is not going to arrest me for walking around with a rocket launcher. <laughs> I love it. That's amazing. All right. You have a good day, mister. I've invited Lamar around to my house and I want to find out if it's true that Chop will actually go for Lamar if you send Chop to him. So, Chop, this is your old owner, Lamar. Uncle Lamar, really nice guy. Are you going to attack him? I don't think he will. No way is this true. 
Is it true? Oh my- No, 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 no. No way! It's actually true? Are you kidding me? This is real? He was your old owner! Wow! Okay, so Chop will actually get Lamar if you send him on him. Don't do that, guys. Myth success. <laughs> do sticky bombs float? So, I'm at the ocean right now, and I'm just gonna throw a sticky bomb right there. It didn't look like it floated. Where, where does it actually go, then, when it goes in the water? Does it sink? Okay, I've kind of lost that one, not gonna lie. Let's just blow it up. Oh my- wait, hold on. I think it was on- wait, wait, well, hold on a second. It was on the ocean, I think. Let me try that again. I'm gonna throw this one, like, there. Okay, that had a splashdown. There. Okay, I found it. So this is where it landed. It didn't float, it landed on the ocean bed. And then if I just blow this up... Oh, no way! Okay, so you can't even see it explode underwater. That is so weird. Let's throw one really deep. I slow down time so I can follow the sticky, so I'm just gonna lob that one really far away. It's landed down here, and it falls down to the ocean bed. Stuck to the ocean bed. Let's blow it up. Literally nothing. Oh, no, a little splash. That's so cool. So you don't see anything underwater, but they don't float, so myth busted. This is a really weird one. Someone told me that if you throw a, a Molotov at a tree, it won't catch fire. Let's see. No, it does. You can set fire to trees then. Well, guys, what do you know? Trees can set fire. The firemen always arrive whenever there's a fire. They're always here literally seconds afterwards. But will they put out a fire on their own car? There we go. Look, the fire truck is, is on fire. It's literally burning down. What? Are they? He's running away on my days. You guys are so chill. Your car literally just blew up. Are you going to put it out? No? All right, that's so weird. They won't put out the fire. That's okay. Myth busted. <laughs> They're literally walking away. <laughs> Another myth I heard is apparently firemen can't set on fire because they've got, like, fire suits on. So let's just check that out. Oh, no way. That's crazy. You can't set them on fire. That one literally hit the firemen. They won't. They won't. They won't set on fire. That is amazing. <laughs> myth success. For this next myth, I want to find out what happens if I pour a jerry can at Michael's toes. This is, like, the most relaxed I've ever seen Michael. <laughs> Come here, Michael. Come here, buddy. Come here. Can we just get him into the jerry? Will he actually go in the fuel? He's actually, like, standing. He's letting me do this. That is so weird. He's not running away. Okay, what if I do this to Trevor? Is he gonna freak out as well? They, they literally don't care. They're letting me do this. They're not, like, running away or anything. Oh, no. Trevor is. Trevor's kind of... He knows what's up. Let's, let's set that on fire and see what Michael does. Are you just gonna let that happen, Trevor? Oh, my days. I just set Michael on fire and Trevor does not care. And now... Oh, wow. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. So you can set them on fire. Wow. Who would have thought? <laughs> Myth success. You can drive into the prison if you're driving a police car. Let's see. Nope, myth busted. I got the sirens on. Come on, guys, let me in. Very well, you can't drive into the prison if you're driving a sheriff car. What happens if you delete Michael? So I'm playing as Michael right now, and I'm gonna switch to Franklin, who's just over here. Now they're, like, both speaking to each other. Michael's family, I think, is, uh, yeah, his whole family's in. So there he is, and... <laughs> there he goes! <laughs> <laughs> Deleted! You can delete Michael! So what happens now if I just go around the house? Does anyone, like, raise an eye that Michael's just disappeared? Is Tracy even in? Tracy? Hey, Tracy's in! Okay, everyone's in. They don't care that I've just deleted Michael. So now Michael's deleted, he's gone. <laughs> you can delete him! Pretty cool. I'm in North Yankton, and it's pretty cold out here. We're far away from Los Santos, but will the taxi company pick me up at North Yankton? Let's find out. Downtown Capco, come pick me up, guys. Oh, no, they're busy. They won't pick me up. Let's try again. Oh, they're busy. Miss busted. What? What if I try on Keo Perico, one of the tropical islands which was recently added to GTA 5 just last year? If I can call a taxi to Keo Perico, but not North Yankton, I'm gonna be shocked because North Yankton is closer. No, we can't. Myth busted. There's a bunch of ATMs in this world, and if you shoot one, do you get money from the ATM? Let's find out. I'm shooting it. I'm not getting any money. I'm not seeing any money come out of this. What if I, like, try and blow it up? I'm gonna really try and open this one. Let's just throw some stickies on there. Three... Four. All right, five's got to be enough, right? No money. No money at all. Let me just check. That definitely wasn't, like, that ATM. <laughs> I literally just killed myself. Well, myth busted. No money comes from ATMs. Unless, of course, you withdraw it. If you throw a grenade into a pool and then jump in, you will survive. Let's find out. All right, there we go. Grenade in the pool. Let's just chill around. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm so dead. That was such a dumb idea. <laughs> Guys, myth busted. If 
if you steal a police car and then drive around, can you get a wanted level for doing, like, anything bad? First of all, I gotta take the car. All right, I've got a one-star wanted level. Let's just lose that wanted level and then see what happens. I've lost the wanted level. I've hidden here, and uh, now I've just got my own police car. So now I can, like, act like a police officer. I can pull this guy over. You see this person in the in the white SUV? He literally pulled to the side because I'm in a police car. So you can play as a police officer now, but does that mean I can do anything I want to without getting a wanted level? Let's do something a bit crazy. I'm gonna go after this lady. Oh my- Oh man, I thought you could do that. I got a one-star wanted level. Okay, you can't do everything you want to in a police car. <laughs> Myth busted. Can you hang out with Lamar plus one of the main characters? Like Lamar and, and Michael, for example. Let's find out. I'm calling him up. Lamar's gonna meet me up. Fantastic. Let me just see where he is. There he is. So Lamar's on my radar. Now, can we hang out with Michael as well? That would be the ultimate trio. There he is. My boy, Michael. Busy. Hold on. Why are you busy? What about Trevor? Amazing. You can hang out with Trevor and Lamar. Let's pick him up. Luckily for us, they're not even too far away. So Lamar should be meeting me around here. Oh, there he is. He's got a van. Amazing. All right, Lamar's here. What's up, dude? Let's go and pick up Trevor. I don't think I've ever done this, hanging out with all of them. I didn't think you could. And then this is where Trevor is. Amazing. You can hang out with both Trevor and Lamar. Come on, Trevor, get in my car. <laughs> Lamar and Trevor both in my car and we can do like whatever we want to we can we can go to a movies We can get a drink so cool all my days. Well mid success There is a secret cave which nobody knows about it's meant to be like over here And apparently it's somewhere like inside this this land. So let's let's check this out. I'm, I'm over here Let's see all my days. Hold on. I think it is yo This is such a cool hiding spot guys if you want to hide somewhere go in this cave Let's go and explore this cave. Oh my days. I mean who actually goes here. This is like such a hidden spot no way. This is crazy. There is actually a secret cave in here and no one's gonna find me. That is amazing. Wow. <laughs> You guys have got to go here. This is such a cool hiding spot. Success. Franklin's got these secret rooms in his house, but you can't actually go inside them. So I've got some mods which let me go inside these rooms, and we're going to take a look together at what's inside them. So let's start with, uh, let's go with this one first. What is inside this room? Oh, literally nothing. And then what is inside? What? Dude, there's like nothing in these rooms, and then this one as well? <gasps> There is, like, nothing inside of them. You would have thought there's, like, something in them. Well, that's busted. Franklin's secret rooms don't actually exist. Don't try and get inside them. If you pour gasoline into a swimming pool, it will actually change color. There's only one way to test this. That is not doing anything. It's not even changing color. You can't even tell there's gasoline in there. You literally can't tell. What if I shoot it? Will it set fire to the stuff in the pool? I mean, no, not really. It doesn't change color. You can't even tell. It just sets fire to what's on the outside. Okay, that myth is busted. I'm at the beach and there's a bunch of people swimming here. You can see three of them right there just enjoying their weekend. What happens if I put a tiger shark next to them? All right, let's put down like a couple of sharks. There we go. Oh my days. Wait, hold on. They're panicking. They're panicking, dude. They're running away. <laughs> they don't like sharks. Wow. Okay, so people do panic when there's sharks in the water. Check it out, guys. They're just there. Okay, let's try that again. I got to find some more people. There's a few people over there. So let's place down a couple more sharks around them and see what they do. Hold on. No, this guy's running. That guy isn't. There is a shark at his feet. This is annoying because this is the only myth where we don't actually get a definitive answer. So I'm going to call this one 50-50. <laughs> Can you steal cars from other characters whilst they're driving the car? So Franklin is in his buffalo. Lovely car. I'm going to leave him right here. Michael's only just around the corner. So let's go and check out what he's up to. Now Franklin should still be in his car if he's in the... There he is, driving away. Franklin, stop right there. <laughs> I want to steal your car. Can we steal it? No way. I can't steal it. What? No, no, come back here, Franklin. Come on, come on, come on, come back here. Come back. Ow! Jeez. Let me get in the car, Franklin. I'm going to try and hold him up. Franklin, you better let me in, buddy. I need that car. I need the car. Give me the... Oh, my days. He's running from me. Wait, you can steal the car, just not when they're in the car. Okay, so myth is busted and then success. Depends on th the situation of the myth. I place down some stickies and three, two, one. Use his ability. Oh, my days. I literally didn't take any damage. <laughs> I just literally blew up a bunch of stickies and I'm still alive. Does that mean Trevor won't take any full damage? Let's find out. I'm going to blow myself off Mace Bank. Hold that ability. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, man, come on. Oh. Okay, you can't jump off buildings. His ability will disappear. Can you ride a BMX in a swimming pool? Let's find out. 
Hold on. Oh, no, he fell off. That sucks. Come on. I really thought you could. Can you ride a BMX in the sea? I'm going to try. Oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> Just trying some mitts. Oh, hold on. I'm in the sea. I'm still riding it. You can jump. Can I jump? Oh, yo, this is pretty cool. I can jump on this. I'm riding it. No. <laughs> oh, man. So you can ride the BMX in the shoreline, but you can't ride it in the sea. So is that myth busted? Ah, 50-50. Will taxi drivers take you to the edge of the map? I'm going to go as high as I can. That is really far from land. It just says San Andreas. All right, can you take me there, buddy? And if you skip... Oh, my days. <laughs> it truly took me down. No way this actually works, dude. Are you going to drive now? Like, what's the deal? He's scared. Yo, this guy's terrifying. Whoa, no. Uh-oh, that's a shark. Oh, no, no, no. Apparently, you can actually fight sharks. I'm going to give this guy a go. Let's see if we can stop him. Come on, Michael. We can do this. I've got a knife. It's the only thing you can use. I'm going to try and get this. Yo, I actually got him. You can stab the shark. He's still alive, though. That's crazy. Did you see the blood come out? All right, here we go. It's nothing again. I'm going to try again. Three, two, one. Yeah. Hold on. I got it. Oh, <laughs> yes. You can take down the shark. Screw you. When you're walking chop, take him near a lamppost, and he will randomly start peeing on the lamppost. This happens every time. Oh, so gross, boy. Oh, my days. I can literally see them. Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> Come on, boy. I've got a two-star wanted level. I'm not hanging out with Chop, but I'm clearly right with him now. He can see me. Now, what will happen when the police start intruding in my house? Will Chop attack them, or will he do nothing? If I was hanging out with him, he would definitely attack them. What is he gonna do now I'm not hanging out with him? He does not care. Okay, myth busted. <laughs> if you get a wanted level and you're not hanging with Chop, he literally won't help you. If you shoot at Trevor's house when Ron is there, will he attack you, or will he do nothing? All right, let's put some grenade launchers out. Nothing. All right. He's still kicking the dirt. <laughs> hey, Ron, are you going to do anything? What? He's doing nothing. This guy's literally doing nothing, dude. Hey, come on, Ron. Do something, buddy. He's doing nothing. That's so weird. I just destroyed his car. Still nothing. <laughs> Ron literally does not care. That's amazing. Myth busted. Can we hit 6 million subscribers by the end of the year? People are telling me it can't be done. Let's make this myth true and subscribe the channel right now. The higher you go, the faster your plane will fly. Let's see if this is actually true. I'm going around 190 kilometers an hour. I'm now going to go really high up and see how fast we fly. Whoa, this actually works. I'm going at 230 kilometers an hour. That's crazy. Okay, myth success. Are you protected from any explosion if you're underwater? Let's find out. I've covered this boat in stickies, and now I'm jumping into the water, and I'm going to swim really close to it. So if it did explode, it would kill me. And oh, they kill me. Oh my days. You're not fully protected underwater from explosions. If you honk your horn before you hit people, you won't get a wanted level. Let's see if this is true. I'm honking the horn. I'm going into people. I'm going into things. I haven't got a wanted level. I think this is working. This is... I didn't get a wanted level. What? Going into more people. No wanted level. Are you kidding me? How have I not got a wanted level yet? Okay, what if I just go into someone without honking my horn? Like these two guys. Oh my days. It's true. I said this is true. That's insane. I gotta do this more often. No matter what car you're in, if you land it on all four tires, it won't destroy itself. And you can do this from any height. I am driving the rustiest, the most broken vehicle there is. Are we gonna survive this? Ooh. That was so simple. It didn't take any damage. <laughs> it's true. That's awesome. Now, the monster truck is a one-of-a-kind car because apparently if you drive this off any height, it won't take any full damage no matter where you land it. You could literally land this thing upside down. So let's see if this is actually true. I'm going to try and land this upside down. We're definitely going to die. If this was any other car, it's okay. The car's fine. It didn't destroy itself and I'm still alive. Myth success. I'm in the underground station just below the airport. And whenever you go inside places, you will start running and walking at a slower pace. But apparently you can counter this if you go into first person. I'm going to try and run up these stairs in first person, and apparently this will make you go faster. Let's see. All right, I'm running, and that wasn't too bad. We did that pretty quickly. Let's compare with us in third person. Oh, yo, I'm going so much slower. I don't even need to compare this myself. I can already tell we're going slower. If you're inside and you're going upstairs, go in first person. Myth real. You see those two tankers on this cargo bob? Well, people say this will allow the cargo bob to float on the water. Let's see if this is actually true. I'm in my cargo bob. There's the ocean and we're going to go down as carefully as we can. Seriously, I genuinely thought the cargo bob floats on water. Miss busted. I want to know if you can shoot a grenade when it's in the air. Let's do this. Slow down time. Lob that grenade as far as you can and let's see. Can we shoot this and explode it? 
Oh, 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 man, I think we missed. I'm trying that again. All right, there it is. It's gone. And come on, Michael. Come on, come on, come on. You can do this. <gasps> I hit it. I hit it twice and it didn't explode. Myth busted. You can't shoot grenades. In that case, I want to try something different. Can you shoot a Molotov when it's in the air? All right, that's gone. Try this again. Will it explode? I think I hit it. I hit it. I hit it. I hit it. And it didn't explode. Again, Molotovs don't explode when you shoot them in the air. Can we blow anything up in the air? What about uh, Sticky? I'm going to lob one of those in. Throw it, Michael. And let's see if we can shoot this. Oh, oh. oh, you can. You can explode them when you shoot them. Can you shoot a rocket before it explodes? Let's see. Rocket's gone. Bring out the minigun, Michael. Bring it out. Start firing. Come on. Come on. Come on. This has got to have done something. No, it's not exploding it. The rocket's still going. Guys, I hate to say it, but you can't destroy rockets before they explode. Do motorcycle helmets actually protect you when you have a crash? I'm going to crash this right into this and oof, took a little bit of damage there, Michael. Let's do this again, but this time I'm going to wear a helmet. So as you can see, I took a little bit of damage. Not enough to kill me, but let's try this again and see if we take any more damage. Hey, I still took damage. I don't think that even protected me a little bit. If you call a taxi driver and then go to sleep, are they still going to be there waiting for you in the morning? Fantastic. They're sending a cab to my address. Now let's go and get some rest, Michael. Are they still going to be there in the morning? Uh, uh, been a very long day today. Wakey, wakey. Eggs are bakey. I've made them wait for so long. If they're still there, I'm going to be amazed. Oh my days. He's still, <laughs> still there. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to go to sleep again and see if he's still there. For some reason, you can't take Chop inside Franklin's house. You can go into Trevor's, you can go into Michael's with Chop, but you can't take him inside Franklin's house. The moment I step inside, he gets dismissed and sent straight back to his kennel. However, I'm going to try something different. If I get a wanted level, will Chop follow me inside my house? Oh, what? He gets dismissed again? Wow, even with a wanted level, Chop is not allowed inside. Myth busted. If you tell Chop to attack animals, will he actually do it? Go on, Chop, go get the deer. Oh my days, he got the deer. That's amazing. So Chop will actually attack animals. This time, I want to see if Chop will attack birds. There is a bird right there. It's the smallest creature ever and they can fly away. If Chop gets the bird. Oh, hold on. What are you doing, boy? Are you going to get it? All right, Chop won't get birds. <laughs> he doesn't even know where to begin. Did you know that Chop will hunt for pickups? If you send him on a mission, he will run to the nearest pickup location. I'm not even kidding. It is really cool, this feature. And when he gets closer to the pickup, he will begin to bark even more often. But you got to try your best to keep up with him because Chop is a really fast runner. Hold on. I think he's found something. He has. There's the nearest pickup. We have just found some armor. Thank you very much, boy. I should use you more often. You do great when the zombies around. Will a pair of bongos protect someone from being shot? I don't like the music this guy's playing, so let's just try and get him to be quiet. I'm gonna shoot the bongo. Ooh, hold on, guys. The bongo's protecting him. That's so sick. All right, bongos do protect you. Myth true. Look at that, guys. Those bongos are doing an amazing job. And now I finally got him. <laughs> Myth true. If you go to this location at the top of the map, there is a super secret animal which only spawns here. And there it is. Oh my days. That's huge. It's the biggest animal in the entire of GTA 5. A giant humpback whale. And you can hear him as he tries to communicate in the ocean. That is awesome. There are only one of these in GTA 5. And it's kind of sad because he hasn't got any friends to talk to. This is the size comparison. I am nothing compared to this guy. He could swallow me in one if he wanted to. The engine of a fighter jet will push you back if you try and get close to it. Let's see if this is real. <laughs> oh my days, that is the coolest thing ever. All right, I'm gonna try and get back in there again. What? <laughs> I can do this all day, dude. Oh my days. Michael, this is hilarious, buddy. This is amazing. If you destroy the traffic lights, what will the cars do? Will they start panicking and drive all over the place, ignoring the laws? Or will they still follow them? You know what I'm gonna do, actually? I'm just gonna blow these off. Let's just destroy that lamppost and that one and then this one. So there's like no lamppost here at all. Now every lamppost has been destroyed. There are no lights telling people what to do. Are they gonna panic or are they still gonna follow the rules? I'm nervous. This guy's already following the rules. You don't need to stop here, buddy. There's literally no red light. There's nothing telling you to stop. What about these guys? They're stopping as well? That's so weird. This is strange. No traffic lights, but they still wanna follow the rules. You can't destroy traffic lights and cause chaos. That sucks. <laughs> if you bump somebody else into a police car, will the police chase them. Let's find out. Let's push this guy into the police car. Anything? Nothing? All right. Okay. That police officer doesn't care. Now let's push this guy into the police car. Anything? Why don't they care? Okay. What if I just 
ram the guy into the car. Come on, officers. Seriously? You're not going to go after them? <laughs> They're the ones going into you. Well, I haven't got a wanted level. That is the most interesting part. I've got a five-star wanted level, and I want to know if Grove Street will give me protection if I bring the police over there. I've got a lot of police officers chasing me. <laughs> All right, here goes nothing. There's even police cars down here. What? There's like a couple of guys here. Guys, come on. I need some help. No, don't run. No, what are you doing? Oh, man. They're not going to help me. Well, you've seen it here, guys. They do not help. They run away. Will water put out fire on my car? I've set my car on fire. It sounds logical, but let's see if this actually works. Oh, boy. We better do this quickly. Come on. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Okay, I'm in. Oh, no, no, no. This isn't working. It's still on fire. What's going on? Come on. Come on. I don't think this works. Oh, man. It's still on fire. I missed busted. My car broke, but it didn't blow up. Michael is waiting for me on the airfield, and I'm flying this plane as Franklin, and we're going to crash this straight into that rock. But before we do, I'm going to switch straight to Michael. All right, three, two, one. Michael, Michael, Michael. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, my days. No way is Franklin still alive. He's alive. That's amazing. Well, myth success. Switch characters before you die. You will survive. Franklin's ability doesn't work for planes or boats or anything else which isn't a land vehicle. But I want to see if his ability works with a Deluxo, the flying car. I'm driving a Deluxo, and I can use Franklin's ability. All right, that's pretty simple. Now, let's turn this into a flying machine. And we're going to get some air with this. As high as we can go. Can we still use the ability? I can. Oh, hold on. But I'm not flying. It's taking me back down to the ground. Oh, that's so weird. So you can use his ability with the flying Deluxo, but it will take you towards the ground. I've got a snowball. Can you kill people using snowballs only? Whoa, hold on. I did. I literally took her out with a snowball. What? All right, guys, you can kill people with snowballs. Confirmed. Michael is right over there. And I want to test something out. If you lay down like anything, some proximity mines. All right, let's put some down right next to Franklin. Three proximity mines. And then if I switch over to Michael, will they still be there? What do you know? They are. They safe. You could do some really funny stuff with this. All right, I'm just gonna run straight into them. <laughs> That's awesome. If you light a fire whilst you're holding the jerry can, will the jerry can also explode? This will be a pretty good fire. All right, let's set it on fire. Hold the jerry can and just wait. It exploded. <laughs> it exploded. That's awesome. Every car has a fuel tank, unless it's electric. And if you break the fuel tank, will the car explode when you set it on fire. So the fuel tank is meant to be like somewhere between the tires. Let's see if we can find it. There it is. We got it. All right. The fuel tank's broken. So now we just let the car drain of fuel <laughs> and then I'm going to set it on fire. There we go. Fuel tank is empty. So now that car cannot be drived. Now let's set this car on fire. Will it explode? It's been a while. The car still hasn't exploded. I'm going to call this one success. The myth is real. When you get into a dinghy and jump off, you'll be given scuba gear. Now what happens if you keep that gear? Get inside a car and drive drive the car to the bottom of the ocean. I've got my scuba gear on and I'm inside a car and I'm at the bottom of the ocean and we are not taking any damage. This is a fantastic hiding spot. No one's gonna know I'm down here. Apparently Chop will, yes, we all know he'll fetch the ball, but apparently <laughs> he will actually fetch grenades. No way does he actually do this. Go fetch boy. All right, there's the grenade. Oh my days, he's, he was gonna get that. Let's do one like there. Go on, boy. Oh, no. No. Oh, my days. He will literally go for grenades. Wow. Okay, that's myth number one. Let's do the next. You can rapid fire with a grenade launcher. So if you're just using a grenade launcher, this is how fast you can shoot. That really isn't that fast. If you, like, go up against a wall and take cover and then just keep spamming, then you can fire grenades really quickly. Oh, my days. That is so sick. <laughs> they literally don't stand a chance. Yo, I just fired, like, 10 grenades in one go. If you go to this location at the middle of the day, then you'll find a lovely car. Expensive sports car usually. And it's inside this secret garage. Is it there? Oh, of course it is. Amazing. Yo, check this out. I think this is a banshee. <laughs> oh, I like this one. All right. What do you know, guys? If you want a nice car, you know where to go to. Let's get moving. This is the weirdest myth. If you hang out with any of your friends and then go back to your house and go to sleep, then you won't believe what happens. I'm going to hang out with Trevor because he is hands down the weirdest character out of all of them. <laughs> All right, let's go pick him up. So now I'm hanging out with Trevor and I'm going to drive straight back to Franklin's house and show you something crazy. You can hang out with friends in your own house and have a really fun night, but you can even go to sleep and when you wake up, they will still be there. Wakey, wakey, Franklin. <laughs> it's the morning now. Oh my days, he's literally still there. Like we're still hanging out. If you fire rockets at Franklin's old house, the one he moved out of years ago, he will still send you texts as if he still lives there. Let's just like demonstrate this. Franklin literally doesn't live here. It is just Denise. Hey, Franklin, look, I'm destroying your house, man. Hey, come on, Franklin. I'm firing rockets at your house. Oh, there we go. <laughs> 
is that you firing rockets at my house? Why, yes, it is. Frankly, you don't even live there anymore. <laughs> Jeez, that's so weird. He literally doesn't live there. Like, the, the Franklin has nothing to do with his house anymore. If you go inside Lester's house and take a look at his calendar, then you will notice that the date marked is the actual release day of GTA 5. Friday, the 17th of September, 2013. Oh my days, that was a long, long time ago. <laughs> if you go to this location and bring like an SUV and then climb on the rooftop, you can actually climb into the highway. It's super weird. Just climb up here and like, I'm literally just like inside the highway. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you just, like, keep running along down here, you can, like, peep your head through the top, and you can see all of the cars driving along. This is so weird. Three, two, one. Yo, this is so sick. I can shoot things from underneath the highway. <laughs> screw you, guys. Screw you. Oh, my days, dude. I could have so much fun under here. <laughs> <laughs> there is a secret phone in GTA 5. If you dial this number, you will get the secret phone. 1-999-3767. This works with every character. Black cell phones, an explosion appears, and then when you bring up your phone again, it's different. How cool is that? If you want to get your phone back, by the way, you just got to dial the, the same number again, but it's pretty cool. I think this is a pretty cool myth. If you shoot the propeller of a helicopter, you can take down the helicopter really easily. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah, there we go. Already done. That was so easy, dude. All I did was shoot the propeller. <laughs> it's falling out, dude. <laughs> All right, let's see how quickly this works with a minigun. Oh, there we go. I've got it. I've got it. That literally took like two or three seconds. That was so easy. <laughs> yeah, we should probably get out of here, Trevor. If you have a wanted level, you can lose them by simply hiding in a bush. I'm just gonna try and find like a good bush. <laughs> They're literally following me up here, dude. I didn't realize police do that. Is that bush good enough? I reckon that bush is good enough. I'm just gonna go and hide in this one. Quickly, Trevor. Quickly, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> there is no way they can see me in here. Actually, there's an even better spot. I'm gonna hide literally in here. There is no way they can see me from here, dude. I'm in like a massive bush and I've lost the wanted level. That was so easy. Just hide in a bush, guys. It's too easy. You can sneak inside the military base. If you try and go in any other way, they will kill you. Literally, this guy's gonna shoot me. But if you sneak around and act a bit more clever, all you gotta do is go up this wall and then kind of like jump on this. Oh my, Trevor, come on, man. We can do this. We can do this, buddy. And then bring out a pistol. This is like the only way you can sneak into the military base, by the way. And then climb on that and then just quickly drop down and hide here and bam, you're in. No wanted level. Check it out, guys. I literally don't even have a wanted level. You can make a chain of tow trucks. Here we go. And we're on. Oh my days. I've hooked every single tow truck onto each other. <laughs> and then if you go to the front one, you can drive them all around. Oh my days. This is amazing. I got five tow trucks attached to this one. If you put down a bunch of gasoline and then get in your car, you can actually light the gasoline by using Using just your car tires. Is this gonna set my car on fire? <laughs> Oh, no. All right, there we go. It's on fire. How's my car doing? My car's fine. Wow. There's a bunch of arrows in Sandy Shores, which all lead you to the same place. It's really strange. So this is the first arrow. And then if you follow this arrow exactly where it was sending you to, it will take you to this arrow right behind Trevor's house. And then if you follow this arrow to where it's pointing you to, it will take you straight to the motel. And at the motel is another arrow, which literally points you down to like a random room. It is really, really strange. And then if you go inside this room, you'll never believe what happened happens. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. Like, I don't understand. For this next myth, if you subscribe to my channel, Franklin will actually be given money. And the more of you who subscribe, the more money he gets. I'm already getting money. Only a dollar per subscriber? Wow, a lot of you guys are gonna need to subscribe if you wanna make Franklin a millionaire. But it can be done. If you shoot a car door into the water and then stand on that car door as it slides in, you can slide underwater. Like, check it out, dude. We're literally sliding underwater. I can now shoot the fish. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Michael's house is a really weird place. There's a window on his roof, but it doesn't actually exist. I can literally see the eclipse towers from where I'm standing. But if you go through the window and take a look, there is nothing there. There's not even a single window on his rooftop. How weird is that? If you go to the end of the pier and then go down a couple of steps, I think it works on like the fourth step, and then you can pretend to dive without actually going into the water. I can literally do this over and over again. This is the weirdest bug ever. I don't even understand how this is possible. And do another cheeky dive. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this all day to Michael. If you kick over a BMX bike, and then as you get on it, play a game of tennis, then you will literally become invisible. I don't even know where Michael's gone. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my days, yo. <laughs> Come on, let's get an ace. Oh, that wasn't bad, Michael. All right, let's just see if we can win the first one. <laughs> Wait. Amanda, you're literally playing a ghost right now. Sit down. Sit down, Amanda. We win. If you get on the train and then take cover right here and then start aiming at the ground, something really weird happens to Michael. Once you start turning around, your character will glitch everywhere. Oh my days. Yo, what? I just let go of the aiming and now... <laughs> No way. So once you let go of just aiming in, your character will start moving along with the train, but like in the same place he was as he left the train. So now I'm just like floating along with this train. <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, oh, <laughs> hey, hey, look at me go. I am literally a kite right now. I've turned Michael into a kite. So like I'm doing the exact same movements as the train is. Now the train's going around a corner. Oh, this is a really, oh my days, that's a wobbly train. <laughs> you can even go in first person and it still thinks I'm in cover. You can trap characters on top of May's bank, and they're not even clever enough to figure out what to do. All right, I'm gonna leave Franklin up here. There's a helicopter up with him as well, so if he wants to get down, he can. And then I'm gonna go over to Michael, who is meant to be just around the corner. Oh my days. No way, he's still there. He's literally still there. <laughs> He won't even get down. What? That's so weird. What are you doing? Are you just playing on your phone? Why are you playing on your phone? <laughs> You're literally stuck on May's bank, Franklin. There is a secret location right on top of this clothes store. If you come over to this place and then bring a tool car like this one and then go on the roof and then climb again, you can literally climb into the wall and above the clothes store. I am just walking around above the clothes store now. How crazy is that? There's the lady. <laughs> you reckon I can shoot her? Oh my days. I can still shoot people from up here. Yo, this is kind of mad. <laughs> I can do everything up here. For this next myth, if this video gets 100,000 likes, the like button will apparently turn gold. Give it a go and let me know if it actually works. If you go to any of the Los Santos customs, outside you will find a bunch of these spray paint cans. And if you shoot them, it will spray paint everywhere. That's pretty cool. That's actually really cool. <laughs> go give it a go. There are some really strange websites in GTA 5. This is one of the secret websites. I'm going to type in someone's random name. So let's go with Franklin Clinton, who is the, the guy accessing this site. So Franklin, enter, and then let's go Clinton. It will tell you like all of his ancestors who lived before. It's pretty crazy. Let's say he's like 45. Press search, and it will search through like everything, every file it has on this guy. Your great, 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 great grandfather, Henry Davis Donor, was born in Ireland, and a widower at the age of 72. Took a new wife, he was 22. This is like Franklin's great, 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 great grandfather. <laughs> and this is actually real. If you throw C4 on a wall and then start punching it, will it actually explode? Alright, that's a kick, Frank. Oh, <laughs> Whoa, that's awesome. You can explode C4 by simply kicking it, dude. If you drive a car through a tunnel, the GPS waypoint location will actually disappear. Wow, that's actually really realistic. And then wait, what if I just go through the other side? Is it gonna reappear again? Oh my days, it literally just reappeared. That is so crazy. You lose signal when you go through a tunnel in this game. If you go to a police station and hold a gun in front of a police officer, they literally don't care. Look at me, I'm holding a gun and he literally is not doing anything. If I hold a sticky, if I hold a rail gun, Gun. <laughs> what about like a minigun or like an RPG? Seriously? You're not gonna do anything? But then this is the next myth. If you want to take a selfie with a police officer, they won't like that and they will come after- Oh my days, I literally just got busted for taking a selfie next to him. Come on! So I can't take photos of them, but I can show them the rocket launcher. <laughs> now you know. Whatever car you're driving in, it will increase the chances of that car spawning around you. So currently I'm driving in one of these and then I'm gonna go to a car park, which is like right over there. And I can already see there's like three other cars very four other cars five five cars similar to this one let me try this again i'm gonna come back to the car park and see if more of them spawn in there's 10 different cars of this kind that is too much of a coincidence whenever you try and steal a car the chances are you'll have to like break the window pick the door it takes a couple of seconds and then you're wanted by the time you're driving away all you need to do is go up to any vehicle and then just shoot the window and then it automatically unlocks. That's literally all you gotta do. You still got a whole wire the car, but you don't have to worry about the door. The sun in GTA 5 looks different to each character. This is what it looks like to Michael. And then this is what it looks like to Franklin. That's way brighter. Oh my days. <laughs> Jeez, this is what the sun looks like to Trevor. It's totally different. I don't know why Rockstar did this, but it's pretty cool. When you're in the military base, look out for these rockets, because if you shoot them, they will literally explode. <laughs> that is awesome. So you might not believe this, but cargo bobs can actually pick up boulders. And if you have pretty good accuracy, you could try and drop them on your friends. <laughs> All right, let's go and pick up this boulder. Oh my days, this is so tricky. Got it, got it, got it. I've literally got the boulder. I don't even understand how this works, but you can do it. <laughs> and now, if you're really really good at aiming, you can drop the boulder on anyone you want to. You know what? I'm just gonna let this boulder go. Hey, go! 
up. And is that boulder gonna break? It just went straight into the mountain. That literally just disappeared. Well, now you know, guys. You can pick up boulders. You can pick up portaloos with a cargo bomb. It's pretty crazy. Check it out. I've got a portaloo. See ya. <laughs> oh no, the door's open. All right, I'm just gonna drop it back down. Hey, I have the portaloo back. Bye. <laughs> there is a really strange house in Polito Bay. It is right over here, and you will just notice a bunch of strange things going on. Like, there's some people just chilling outside. There's a lady just, like, sitting down on the ground. What is that dog doing? Yo, man, I'm over here. <laughs> What are you doing, lady? Why? Why are you doing this? Hello? What the? What happened to you? What just happened? This is the weirdest house ever. Phones will literally protect pedestrians from anything. Check this out. Invincible. Oh my days. What? For as long as she's holding the phone, that's protecting her from like everything. Let's just shoot down there. Yeah, now she's dead. If you blow up a water hydrant like this one, right, let's just blow that up and then walk over the hydrant, it will send you straight into the sky. Woo! <laughs> yeah. But whatever you do, don't blow up a water hydrant and then go into it whilst you're holding a sticky bomb because this happens. Check it out. All right, I'm holding a sticky bomb. We go over the water hydrant and it literally explodes. When you have a police car, shoot the sirens and you can change the way they sound. All right, let's just shoot those. Blue, red. Okay, I'm gonna get back inside. Have they changed? No, they haven't changed yet. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> I'm gonna stand on the roof. Come on, you gotta change. I got it working. <laughs> and now you get to drive around with this, like, broken siren. Pretty cool. <laughs> there is this giant guy in Polito Bay, and he is holding a massive barrel of beer, because if you shoot it, the beer will actually come out of the barrel. How crazy is that? That is so crazy when it comes to detail. Not a lot of beers in there. Sorry, guys. There isn't much beer in there. What if I just shoot around? Oh, my days. No, there's more. Okay, let's make some more holes. It's raining beer. <laughs> Yo, this is awesome. I'm doing so many different holes. What? <laughs> I love this. Between 11 p.m. and midnight, there is a ghost which spawns right on the cliff edge over here here. It's a pretty scary ghost, and if you try and get close to it, then it will disappear. If you go down to the campsite just below the ghost, which, by the way, is right on top of that cliff, and then stay really quiet, you can actually hear a scream, as if a lady has been pushed off the cliff, which, spoiler alert, is actually how the ghost died. I think I just heard the scream. This is the scariest house in GTA 5. It does something which no other house does. Usually there's always a party going on, but there's at least someone in the garden. And if you run into the person, they will die. I'm not even joking. She literally just died. This happens to everyone you find at this house. It's so weird. If you try and bail from the car whilst the car is in the air, something even weirder happens. All right, check this out. Prepare for takeoff, chop. This is gonna be fun. All right, bail, bail, bail. <laughs> my days. No, we actually bailed. Yo. <laughs> chop, chop, chop. Where's chop God? Oh no, he was actually, oh my days. So you can bail as long as the car has done a jump. Now we know. Now we know. There is a really weird bug which goes on only at this location. There is a house right here. This is where it is. It's like the furthest point in this neighborhood and in the porch of this house is a hole which takes you underneath the map. You can throw anything you want to down this hole like grenades. See, that exploded underneath the map. Let's throw another one. <laughs> and another one. I could just like feed grenades down here. This is awesome. <laughs> you can send anything you want to down here and it won't come back. You can be electrocuted in GTA 5. I'm at the power plant in Los Santos and there's a bunch of power generators here and all you need to do is stand in front of one of them and then they... <laughs> <laughs> it just shocked me straight off. That's crazy. If you hold a Molotov and then walk underwater, the Molotov will still say it's on fire. Look at that. It's still on fire. Now let's just turn around. Do a little like step in. All right, there we go. That's good. And then wait for a wave. Bam. Still on fire. It's not putting it out. <laughs> Physics. I love it. This is so logical. Still on fire. This doesn't make any sense. Why? You can rapid fire with an RPG. This is the fastest you can currently fight. You gotta reload. Gotta fire again. Gotta reload. It's kind of slow. But if you do this one simple trick, you can actually rapid fire with an RPG. Shoot, swap again, and then shoot again, and then swap again, and then shoot again, and swap again, and then shoot again. And, shoot again. <laughs> and you don't have to reload at all. I mean, it's kind of a bit annoying, but it's the only way you can rapid fire with an RPG. There is a UFO underwater right at the top of the map over here. It's pretty cool. It's like the UFO which just crashed. <laughs> Literally, I don't even know why it's here or how it got here, but that's pretty cool. What's even crazier is there is a secret hatch underneath the ocean in GTA 5. It's located right here and the hatch actually plays Morse code. You can't get too close because you will die. Oh my. 
my days. I know what you're thinking. What does the Morse code even mean? Well, if you play GTA 4, you would understand it actually means, hey cousin, let's go play bowling, which is a pretty famous reference in the franchise. There is a secret oil rig underwater and you can go inside this abandoned oil tanker. This is where it is and this is the tanker. It's pretty awesome. You can swim straight inside it. Talk about the coolest hiding spot. I'm gonna stay in here. Wait, I can't. I'm underwater. <laughs> oh no. Hey Franklin, we better pack that oxygen tank. We're gonna need it. This is crazy though. You can hide in this oil tanker for as long as your lungs can sustain it. How crazy is that? If you have no money in GTA 5, you can still call a taxi to get from location to location. I'm phoning up the service and they're sending a taxi out already. They will take you wherever you want to go, but the moment you get out, something pretty annoying happens. And what are you doing in the middle of the road, Jimmy? <laughs> what is he up to? Once you get in the taxi, you can choose any location you want to. This guy literally doesn't care. I'm gonna choose the Del Perro Beach. Let's just set the waypoint and I can even skip at an extra cost. But because I have no money, this happens when you get to the end of your journey. I get a one star wanted level and he is a very angry taxi driver. <laughs> Don't worry, Michael, we'll find a bush to hide in. Coffee cups will protect pedestrians from bullets. Let's find out. All right, I'm gonna just try and line this up. Hey. Oh, no, 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 go, go, come on, don't take a sip, seriously? See, I told you guys, coffee cups will protect pedestrians from literally bullets. It's insane. I'm gonna show you that binoculars also protect pedestrians from bullets. Check this out. He's looking through some binoculars. Hey, 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 K, hey, hey, come out. Look at me. No, 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 come on. Oh, leave him at your head. All right, there we go. Three, two, one. Look at that. Binoculars are literally protecting this guy. He is the luckiest person in the world. What? I just shot a sniper bullet straight through the lens and they didn't even get him. That is crazy. Sorry, buddy. Now you gotta go. <laughs> For this next myth, did you know that pedestrians actually blink? Look at these NPCs. They're just chilling at the construction yard and they will literally blink. It's crazy. See, the attention to detail is awesome. Oh no, he's pulling the police on me. Go, go, go. <laughs> if you steal a police car and then lose the wanted level, you can go around Los Santos acting like a police officer. Check this out. I'm gonna put my sirens on and people will stop in the middle of the road just because you're nearby. I'm stopping traffic right now. How cool is this? Now you can drive any way you want to without having to worry about traffic getting in your way. I'm even on the other side of the road and this guy is uh, <laughs> stopping for me. That's awesome. They will do anything. I want them to. Hey, you, pull over. <laughs> Thanks, man. If you've got a wanted level and you're losing the police, swap your car and they will lose you almost immediately. Check this out. I'm gonna just jump out of my car. I'm gonna steal this lady's car. Excuse me, ma'am. I need your car. They won't even see this happen and then start driving away. The craziest thing happens. They will just let you drive past them as if they don't even recognize you. I'm gonna go down here, actually. Check this out. There's like police all down this road. I'm just rolling down the hill, chilling, you know, enjoying my life. I was going officers <laughs> and they literally didn't even recognize me. That is so cool. You can lose the wanted level by simply switching your car. There is one of the coolest secret locations at this house. If you're playing hide and seek with your friends, make sure to check out this hedge because if you just go to the corner of the hedge and then wiggle around, you can walk straight inside of the hedge and bam, now you're literally inside of the hedge. It is the coolest hiding spot in the entire of GTA 5. You can then walk walk all the way down this hedge and they will never find you down here. You are so hidden away. Speaking of secret locations, there is another secret location right here and it is a cave inside of the cliff edge. You won't believe this. This is the cave. It's pretty big and once you're inside here, people have no idea where you are. Check this out. I actually really like this hiding spot. I mean, even if you're not hiding, it's still a pretty cool place just to check out and you will definitely lose the wonder level if you hide in this cave. There is an invisible wall right here. If you stand in this location and get a wonder level. Oh man, I've already got a guard fighting me. Come on, buddy. <laughs> you what? He can't even get me because I am behind this invisible wall. Look at that guy try. Come on, man. Do your worst. I'm just gonna stay behind this invisible wall. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Are you gonna come after me or what? He can't even punch me because I am behind this invisible wall. He is literally just punching this wall. But you just wait until the police arrive because they'll be here any second now and even they won't be able to get me. Now they're trying to shoot me and they have no chance. They're not even touching me and I'm shooting straight back at them. <laughs> you can even see where the bullets are touching the invisible wall. It's so obvious. If you find these fuel tanks and start shooting them, they will spray fire. And if you shoot them again, another spray fire. And shoot them again, this is not gonna end well. Well, Franklin, they literally explode. Look at this one. <laughs> it's rolling and spraying fire. And then three, two, one. When are you going to explode? Oh my day. 
Yeah. I could literally spend all day just shooting these propane tanks. You can throw Chop's ball into some pretty crazy places and he will still go after it. So I've got his ball over here. I'm going to throw it straight down this cliff and he's actually going for it. Oh my day. So <laughs> Chop, are you crazy? Seriously. He is determined. He will not let... Oh my days, he's fallen again. <laughs> he won't let anything get between him and his ball. You can actually destroy these carriages which go up and down at Mount Chiliad. <laughs> Check it out. I just shot it straight off the rail. You can throw sticky bombs on top of bulls and then you can send those bulls wherever you want to. Oh no, these guys aren't happy about this. <laughs> Check this out, dude. They're sticking to this beach bull. Chop, it's okay. No, don't go near that bull. Please, Chop. <laughs> Please. I it just disappeared. What happened to my stickies? Where did they go? Oh, I gotta kick the ball. Okay, don't shoot the ball then. Let me show you how this works. So if you throw one on there, throw another one on there. Let's do one on the top. And then if you start kicking the ball, <laughs> the ball will start rolling around with stickies on it. How crazy is that? So I can like kick this to anyone I want to. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be a very nasty surprise when it reaches them. <laughs> Boom! Another interesting one is you can shoot C4. Check that out. If you want to be really cool, you can put down a sticky bomb and then have a trail of gas leading towards it. Oh my days, this is gonna be crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna create the longest fuse you've ever seen. And then if you shoot the gas, it will set on fire. And by the time the fire reaches the sticky bomb, it should actually explode. Give it a second, give it a second, it's almost there. Oh my days, this is... <laughs> and boom, there we go. When you're walking along the beach, check out these ice cream signs. Because if you go into them, some of them will actually spin. That's actually really cool. Let's go the other way. Hey, oh my days, dude. I didn't even realize they do this, but they do. If you find a gumball machine in GTA 5, it might not look very realistic. I mean, I, I, that's pretty bad. <laughs> but if you shoot it, it will explode gumballs. That's awesome. <laughs> you can play golf by just using your gun. A hey, bam. <laughs> oh, I missed the hole. Come on. I'm going to try one more time. One more time. There's another one there. If I get this one in, that is going to be the shot of the century. Literally. All right. I'm going to try and shoot like bam. Oh, man. I still missed. All right. I'm going to try this one more time. Where's this one? I kind of enjoy this. All right. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh, that was going in. You can hang out with every character at the same time. All you need to do is phone up Trevor. And before you pick him up, phone up Michael as well. So I phoned up Trevor and now I'm going to phone up Michael. So now I've just picked up Michael and Trevor's just around the corner. Trevor is right there. There he is. Come on, Trevor. Get in my car. <laughs> awesome. Now you can hang out with all three characters at the same time. You can even play golf with every single character. But you can be a little bit cheeky and uh, play golf your own way. So instead of trying to aim for the hole, I am going to aim for Trevor. <laughs> You can hit the ball any way you want to, even behind or out of the golf course. But just for fun, I'm going to pick, like, the weakest club, and I'm going to try and hit Michael. <laughs> hey, bam! That was the worst shot ever. Are you kidding me, Franklin? We didn't even hit him. <laughs> Come on! When you're all together and you've got a wanted level, they will actually fight the police with you. Leave no man behind. That's what I say. Hey, Michael, Trevor, let's gear up. We got a wanted level. <laughs> this is my favorite thing to do in GTA 5, by the way. When you get to play with the other characters, the game just suddenly becomes even more exciting. Hey, let's grab a police car. Oh my days, they might actually kill them. They will even shoot the police officers when they're in a car. I mean, these guys are basically your own bodyguards. If you rob a store with a mask on... And and then take your mask off, you will lose the one level much quicker. Check this out. This is actually a hold up. Why aren't you giving me your money? Come on. Give me your money, buddy. Come on. Give me the money. Give me the money. Give me the money. Give me the money. Seriously, I'm not messing around. Give me the money now. Give me all the money you got. I'm going to shoot the snacks now. <laughs> Give me all the money. Every single dollar. Oh my days. I'm actually destroying the snacks. All right. Thank you. I got $600 and I only got a one star one level. All right. Now I got $600 and a two star one level. But because I'm wearing a mask, the moment you take it off, you immediately lose the wanted level. Check it out. They can't even find me. And now I'm just going to walk around, enjoy my own business. I've just got rid of the mask. You know, they can't even recognize me now. <laughs> What I think is really cool is if you start punching mailboxes, mail will actually come out. How cool is that? If somebody is holding a gun, it will block any bullet from getting to them. Wow. That, oh my, no, don't shoot. Oh, come on. Well, he still died, but it didn't even like hit him. There was no shot on it. What the? That was so weird. Okay, I'm trying this again. All right, there is another guy right here. I'm going to shoot the gun. Oh, oh my days. Wow, that's actually really cool. So if you shoot the gun... <laughs> It starts shooting at you. Wow. Oh, my days. Well, we just discovered another myth. Don't shoot guns. <laughs> they will start shooting back at you. But let's do another myth. Let's do the original one we were trying to do. This is like myth number two now. You shoot the gun. He's alive. He's still alive. 
Yeah, it protects him. I'm using heat vision. And whenever I look at anyone, you can see the heat coming from their body. But the moment you shoot them, apparently the heat disappears. Let's find out. All right, he's dead. Oh my days, that's so cool. The barriers in the middle of the highway will actually protect you. Let me test this out. All right, three, two, one. <gasps> Oh my days, I'm still alive. How am I still alive? What? Hey, let me try this again. Where are the other barriers? Is there another one? Oh yeah, there's one here. All right, three, two, one, eight. Oh my days, that's amazing. And there's barely even like any damage to my car. A little bit, but I was going like 300 miles an hour. Whenever you go to a construction site, you'll come across these paint buckets. And if you shoot them, they will actually leak. Check that out, look at that. <laughs> It's just leaking like black paint. It's so weird. Let me do the same on this one. Are you gonna leak? Even this one leaks as well? <laughs> this is awesome. Oh my days. I don't even know what this stuff is. I'm just gonna say it's like black paint. Like, it doesn't look very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get moving. Next one. You might have seen these yellow posts, but if you crash into them, you can bend them backwards. Have I bent that one? I, <laughs> I have. No way. I just bend that one backwards. Let me do the same thing on, like, this one in front of me. All right, have I bent that one again? All right, let's go a little bit faster. Have I bent it? I bent it. Let's go even faster. Hey, bam. <laughs> <laughs> this is really fun. You can just bend all of these posts. Whenever it rains, convertible cars will put their roof up. So I'm going to make it rain, and I'm going to follow this guy in his convertible car. So what is he going to do? Come on, don't let me down. I know this one is real. <laughs> are you going to put it up now? You stopped. It's raining. You're going to get your car wet. They are. Oh, my days. That's amazing. You can rob stores by just using Chop's bull. <laughs> I don't believe it. Give me all the money you got. You don't want Chop to come after you. This bull, it hurts. Trust me. <laughs> this is crazy. They will literally give you every money in their till. He's just barking very angrily. Give me your money. $487. Well, thank you, mister. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of your store now. Chop, move. Move, boy. Move. All right, go, 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 go. <laughs> that was crazy. Seriously? If you tell him to, Chop will even attack Lamar. Wait, Chop, I... <laughs> Stop behind the door. Go on, Chop. Go get him. <laughs> I don't understand why he does this, but he does. Chop will actually wee against the lamppost. <laughs> wow, I didn't know this one. <laughs> Chop, what are you doing? Stop it. If you go down into the sewers, you can hear this really creepy heartbeat noise. And it's really, really loud. That's definitely it. Oh, my days. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't like this. <laughs> There is a part of the road where drivers just don't understand what they're doing. Check this out. There are so many crashes on this corner. That guy's driving on the other side of the road, and there's someone else about to come around the corner. Sometimes they go so fast that they fly off the corner. Like, what is this guy gonna do? Ooh, very close. Very close. Oh my days! He almost rolled his car! <laughs> what? Are you crazy? There's another guy coming around. He's, oh, he's definitely rolling it. Oh my days. You are so lucky you didn't roll that car, buddy. Here he comes. Here he comes. Straight around the corner. <laughs> Jeez, this is amazing. Oh, my days. And then, there's another guy. Another guy's coming down. Is he going to go fast? Oh, that doesn't look like a fast car, but he's driving fast. No way. Oh, 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 almost collision. Very close. Very close. <laughs> you can race anybody in GTA 5. If you pull up next to them and then start revving your engine, they will take off and start racing you. Come on, ma'am. Come on. <laughs> Want to have a race? Oh, she's racing. She's racing all right. <laughs> they will start overtaking traffic and just driving a little bit crazier than the average person would. Oh my days, you're on the other side of the road. Are you crazy? <laughs> Jeez, where are you going? Oh yo, she just crashed. She just crashed into that guy. Are you kidding me? You still want to race, lady? I know you just crashed, but come on. It can't be the end of the race, surely. This is another way you can just have fun in GTA 5. You know, if you just play by yourself, go and race some random people. Oh, she's going really fast. Oh my days. Not fast enough. <laughs> Let's kick her off the road. <laughs> you can steal cars from other characters. So Michael's over here and he's just got his car. I'm now going to switch to Franklin and go straight over to this spot and steal Michael's car. No way, he's still there. <laughs> and I think he's actually inside. Michael, you just ran over a cat. Are you crazy? No, I don't want to get a drink. You just ran over a cat. Mike, go away. <laughs> go away, buddy. I don't want to get a drink. I want to steal your car. Poor cat. Oh, my days. Now I've got Michael's car. You can, like, customize this and literally do whatever you want to. In fact, just for the video, I want to customize this car and change the color. Just to show you, you can actually do that. <laughs> I can't believe I've done this. <laughs> you can go behind this waterfall. It's a pretty cool secret spot, but you gotta be really careful about how you do it. The best way to get behind the waterfall is just by nudging off the edge. So just like this, and I'm in this secret spot. Check it out. There's a couple of other secret spots down here, but this is one of my favorites because you're just underneath and you're on this little ledge. Check it out, guys. I am now stuck behind a waterfall and no one can see me. If you stab someone in GTA 5, then the knife will actually show blood. Check this out. 
Oh my days. <laughs> that is so weird. I didn't even realize that detail is there. You will not take full damage from any height as long as you're riding a bicycle. Check this out. I'm gonna jump straight off Maze Bank. This was a terrible idea, Franklin. This better work. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Are you kidding me? I just landed it like that? That was so easy. If you land on top of a blimp, you can hijack it by standing on top. Check it out. Now I'm inside the blimp. Where'd the other guy go? <laughs> I think I just threw the other guy out of the blimp, but check it out. I'm now piloting the blimp. It's all mine. And now I'm gonna bail and uh, bye. Have a good time. That's gonna cause a very big explosion. <laughs> I would not want to be down there. Oh my days. That's falling so quickly. Okay, that was a pretty big explosion. For this next myth, did you know that firemen can't actually be set on fire because they're wearing a fireproof vest? Check out this guy, for example. I'm gonna try everything I can to set them on fire. That literally landed on him and he's still not on fire. I'm gonna throw even more Molotovs their way. Oh, let's do another one directly on him. Oh my days, dude. I'm setting so many people on fire, but not the firemen. I just threw a Molotov straight into them and they're still not on fire. Let's throw it right at their feet. Oh my days, dude. That was literally at his feet and he's still not on fire. You know what? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna freeze this guy in place so he can't keep running away. And now I'm gonna throw a Molotov right at him and see what happens. Oh my days. I can't set him on fire. That is crazy. These guys? Come on. <laughs> I'm trying everything I can to set this guy on fire and he won't set on fire. Are you kidding me? You won't take any full damage even if you dive into shallow water. <laughs> That'll look painful, Franklin. Seriously painful. Let's try this again just in case. All right, dive in this. Oh, straight into the ground, and he's still okay. For this next myth, you can shoot bits off cactus. Check this out. Wow, I just shot an arm off, and this one... <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. You can, like, sculpt your own cacti. Oh, my days. I can even get that little bit. What about this little bit sticking out? This is really cool. And then what if I just shoot the top? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> That's really fun. Oh, my days. There is a secret part to this mission, which you don't know about, which you're gonna wish you did. Right before the ending of this mission, you will pull into the Union Depository, and there is a money guy running away from his money truck. If you get out of the car at this point, and then go straight towards the money truck, all you need to do is blow it up, and a ton of money will come straight out of it. Check it out. You just instantly get like thousands of dollars for just finding this out. Well, okay, hundreds of dollars maybe. It's not thousands, clearly. <laughs> but it's still pretty cool. For this next myth, you can actually meet the characters before they even know each other in the game. So right now, I'm playing as Franklin, and I haven't unlocked any of the characters. Michael and Trevor are both unknown. But now I know where Michael's house is, I'm gonna go over there and check it out. It's kind of weird to think that Michael exists right now, even though no one actually knows him. This is his house. It looks pretty empty, but I reckon there's gonna be someone in the back garden. Who is it gonna be? Da, da, da. Oh, hold on a second. Amanda is in the back garden. <laughs> Simeon, go away. I don't want to speak to you. Amanda, what's up? Uh, no, I am not. No. And what's even weirder is they actually know each other. I hope all is good with you, Mrs. DeSanto. All good. Just trying to keep my idiot husband out of trouble. Yeah, tell me about it. These two people don't even know each other, but they still know each other's names. For this next myth, you can phone Michael DeSanta before you actually meet him. Since he isn't anywhere in his house, I'm gonna phone him up and see what happens. And he's currently busy. Oh, man. Come on, Michael. Don't want to pick up on me. <laughs> this is so weird. How does Franklin know Amanda? I'm playing a little bit later on in campaign, and currently Trevor has not yet met Michael. But Trevor knows Michael exists, and he's on the hunt to find him. What happens if we introduce both of those characters a little bit earlier. Let's find out. This is so weird. Trevor has just found Michael's house. <laughs> oh, wait, look who it is. It's Amanda DeSanta in the garden. Hey, Amanda. How you doing, Mandy? Just fine, Trevor. Amanda knows everyone. This is so strange. Oh, Michael. Michael. Are you here, buddy? Come on. I know you're here somewhere. <laughs> Where could he be? Oh, you're down there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, what's gonna happen now? I've just met Amanda. Seriously, they're not even saying anything. Come on, Michael. What if I just... I'm gonna punch him. Seriously, I can't even go... To, I can't even do that. I can't even shoot him. He won't speak to me. This is really sad. I've come all this way. He won't even talk, but at least you can make it happen. If you drive into fruit trees, they will drop fruit. Check it out. And now there's oranges for everyone. Yay! Wow, so many oranges. I'm gonna eat all of them. Will Chop fetch the ball if I throw it into a maze? Let's find out, guys. I'm gonna throw this one there. And I'm gonna follow this ball. It landed right 
there. Okay, what is Chop gonna do? Let's get a bird's eye view. Hold on, he's going all the way around. That's so strange. He didn't go through the maze then. That's interesting. I know where it landed. You guys saw that. Okay, he's going into the maze. He has entered the maze. <laughs> is he gonna find it? No way is Chop this smart. Hold on, I think he's going the right way. Oh, he got it. No way. He actually just picked up the ball. That's insane. Will he bring it back to me? I mean, it looks like he's already found his way out. That is so strange, dude. I didn't think he would actually find it. I'm gonna create a line of fire. And I want to see if Chop will go through the fire or if he will go around. It's going to be quite a thick line, too. Let's drop some more gasoline in the middle. Okay, I think that's a pretty big line of fire. Now, Chop, come over here, boy. All right, I'm going to light that on fire. And I'm going to run straight through it. Go, 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 go. Okay, what will Chop do? Will he go through it or will he go around? He went around. No way. <laughs> He won't go through fire. You're really smart, Chop. Really smart. What if I create a circle of gasoline around Chop? So let's just make a bit of a circle that Chop can stay inside. I think that's a good enough circle. Will he be smart enough not to go through it and wait until the fire dies down? I think that's enough gasoline for now. Right, Chop, you stay in the middle, buddy. You stay in the center. And let's light this on fire. All right, now the circle's on fire. What is he gonna do? No way, he actually waits. He won't go through the fire until it dies down. That is crazy. For this next myth, Chop will actually turn gold if you subscribe to my channel. Give it a go and let's see if we can turn Chop gold. I think I can see something happening. Have you subscribed yet? You gotta subscribe to make this work. Oh man, it doesn't work. Myth busted. Thanks for subscribing anyway. You're not gonna regret it. What happens if I throw the ball in front of a train? Will Chop get it or will he run away? Let's find out. I'm gonna throw the ball in three, two, one, go, 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 go. Oh no, he's actually gonna get it. Chop, you're crazy. You're running into the train. <gasps> oh my days. He literally just ran into the train. Chop was killed. Chop, no way was he killed. He literally ran in front of a train. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> Myth busted. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, boy. We had to try it out, though. Will Chop jump off Maze Bank if I dismiss him on top of the tower? Go home, boy. What are you gonna do? Oh, dude, I thought he was actually gonna jump off. No way. I don't think he is. What? He's literally running side to side. That's crazy. No way. He's not gonna jump off. He doesn't know how to get down. Oh, no. I've trapped Chop here for eternity. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Guys, I don't think Chop's gonna jump off Maze Bank, so busted, I suppose. <laughs> Let's do the next one. What happens if you bail from a flying car when Chop is in your passenger seat? Because Chop can't get in helicopters or planes, this is one of the only ways you can actually fly in the sky. I'm driving a deluxe, so, and now we are literally flying. Chop's in the passenger seat enjoying life. <laughs> And I'm about to bail from this car and parachute down to the ground. What is going to happen to Chop and what will he do? I want to go really, really high, actually. <laughs> I'm going just a little bit higher, boy. Don't you worry. All right, we're pretty high up now. I think we're higher than Mays Bank. Oh, no. No! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Chop, no, I'm so sorry! What? He's like falling, but then like stopping falling. Oh no, I think he's actually falling now. No! <laughs> oh my days. I don't think he's gonna make it, guys. Let's go to the ground, Franklin. It doesn't say he's died, which is really interesting. Oh yeah, he's back in my house. He did die. <laughs> he did die, guys. Well, Chop will fall out of the car with you and he will die. Busted or real? I don't know. Will Chop die if I get into a really bad crash? I'm gonna go as fast as I can and we're gonna drive into a tree. And I already know Franklin will probably go through the windscreen. The question is, will Chop follow as well? All right, let's go faster, faster, faster. This is pretty fast. This is really fast. Oh my damn oh, Jeez, that was insane. But we didn't go through the windscreen. He's still alive. Are you kidding me? I'm going at 300 kilometers an hour. There is no way Chop's gonna survive this when we crash the car. Ah, this one ought to do. Three, two, whoop. Jeez, are you kidding me? He's still alive. I don't think Chop can die. I genuinely think he's invincible when he gets into a car. That is insane, Chop. His door came off and the front of the car is like broken. He's alive though. That's all that matters. He doesn't even wear a seatbelt. What a boss. Can Michael kill Chop? And if he can, what happens? Don't you dare get away from me, boy. Get him, get him, Michael. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him, Michael, get him. Get him, don't let him escape. He's over there. Don't let him escape, Michael. Don't let him escape. All right, Chop is still running away from me. I am literally chasing him down with a rocket launcher. How would you get over there? That's so not fair. Hold on a second. What are you doing? No, get him. Get him. <laughs> Come on. You're the luckiest dog in the world. There's no escaping this now, boy. No escaping me. <gasps> He's still alive. Oh, no, I got him. I got him. No way. <laughs> Hold on, guys. I got Chop. Will Chop jump off the mountain when I parachute off the ledge? Last one to the bottom is a raw egg, Chop. Let's go. <laughs> All right, parachute. Look behind you. What's he doing? 
Oh, no, he's staying. He won't jump off. Oh, man, he's too clever for this. Myth busted. Chop will not jump off the mountain after you. That sucks. <laughs> will Chop chase after the Mount Gordo ghost? Oh, there she is. She's just spawned in. The spookiest Easter egg in GTA 5. All right, first of all, I'm going to throw the ball. Actually, no, let's just aim at the ghost. No, Chop won't attack the ghost. So let me go on to the next myth. Will Chop fetch the ball if I throw the ball right at the ghost? Let's see if we can get really close. Oh, jeez, I think that fell off the mountain. Oh, boy. <laughs> He's going for it, though, guys. He does not care. But there is literally a ghost next to him. What? Where did that ball even go? No way. Dude, I threw that so far. He's... He's going for it. Seriously? He got the ball. I literally threw it halfway down the mountain, and he didn't seem to care that there was a ghost there. That's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna throw this one a little bit closer towards the ghost. Thanks, boy. Let's throw this one, like, as close as I can get it. Oh, I did the same thing. It just went straight off. But check it out, guys. Chop is running straight to the ghost. He does not care. He doesn't get spooked. Will Chop make it to the other side of the road if I do? I'm gonna distract him for one second by throwing the ball, like, over there. And then I'm gonna run to the other side of the road. Ow. <laughs> Quick, Frank. Frankly, quick. Now I've made it to the other side of the road. What would Chop do? Hang on. I think he's going for it. He's bolting it. He is not caring about that traffic. No way. He actually survived? Are you kidding me? He will run through the traffic without a thought of his life in the world. That is insane. Will Chop follow me into the military base? This is a highly restricted area and anyone knows they have to keep out. If you go inside, you get a four-star wanted level and the tanks will come after you. Now, will Chop follow me into the military base? <gasps> yes, he is! Amazing! It was just the barrier. Okay. Okay, Chop will follow you in the military base. Myth real. <laughs> oh, this is gonna get tricky. Oh my days, they already got tanks. Don't kill Chop, please. And now he's going after the military. Wow, Chop really is courageous. Go on, boy, go on. <laughs> Take him out. Will Chop attack any of Michael's family? I'm gonna go inside that house and tell Chop to go after Jimmy, Tracy, or even Amanda. I can already hear Jimmy outside. I think he might be on the porch. Jimmy, was that you I heard? Hold on, I think it is. There he is, guys. Jimmy's walking around outside. I think I can even have conversation with him. Chop will attack anyone who Franklin targets. So I've targeted Jimmy. No way. Is he actually going to... <gasps> Seriously, go on, Chop. Go get Jimmy. Go get him, Chop. Go on. Go on. That's Jimmy. Franklin is literally telling Chop to get Jimmy. This is really strange. Chop is disobeying Franklin's orders. Franklin is telling Chop to take out Jimmy, and he's not doing that. In that case, I'm gonna go inside the house and see if he will do the same thing to Tracy or Amanda. Maybe Chop has, like, preferred characters in Michael's family. Hold on, Amanda's doing yoga outside. This is perfect. Go on, boy. Go get Amanda. What, you'll get Lamar and you won't get Michael's family? What is wrong with you? I'm disappointed. I thought he would. Myth busted. Chop will die if he touches water. I'm not even kidding. He can't swim. I'm gonna bring Chop all the way over to the other side of this pond, and I'm gonna ask him to fetch a ball at the other side of the pond. Will he go around it, or will he go straight through it? Three, two, one, go! Where is that gonna land? Perfect, right on the other side. He's gonna go around. He won't go through. That is interesting. So Chop really hates water that much. Check it out. He's gone all the way around just to get the ball. Wow. Chop will not get in water for anything. And he's going all the way back to give me the ball back. It would have been so much easier if you went through, Chop. It's only a paddle height. Nah, he's not doing it, guys. I've built some sandcastles in GTA 5. And when you walk through them, you will destroy them. Will Chop walk through them, or will he go around. Come on, boy. Come on. Are you gonna go around them? I think you'll go around them. Okay, let's try this again. Chop, I want you to go and fetch the ball. Let's throw it over there. Now, the shortest route is straight through the sandcastles. He went around them again. Chop is actually a considerate dog. I don't know what you guys think, but he is genuinely considerate. He goes around the sandcastles. If I climb this ladder, will I lose Chop? As far as I know, dogs can't climb ladders. Chilling at the bottom, looking up. What are you gonna do, boy? Okay, I'm just gonna walk forward. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> he literally just teleported up. That's so not fair. All right, what if I go down the ladder? See ya, boy. I don't know how you got up, but congratulations. <laughs> All right, now I've gone down the ladder. What is he going to do this time? I'm going to watch you. I know you're there, but what are you going to do now, huh? Okay, I'm going to move Franklin. Oh, no way. He just teleports down. So Chop will teleport up and down the ladder whenever you're not looking. That is really cool. This time, I'm using a cargo bob. What happens if I pick up Chop when he's in a car with a cargo bob? Is he gonna bail or is he gonna chill in the car? Let's find out. First of all, I need to get Chop in that car. So Michael, stay here as patiently as you can. I don't think Chop's gonna bail. I think he will stay in the car. Speaking of which, Chop isn't actually here. All right, they're chilling in the car. Now let's go back over to Michael. I'm gonna pick up that car. No, 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 Franklin, what are you doing? But I didn't see Chop get out of that car. Perfect. All right, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. Is Chop in? Oh, my days. 
Go, 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 Michael. Return to Franklin. Why? Wait, hold on. Chop isn't in the car. No, he's not in the car. Where did you go? Where did he go? <laughs> Seriously, I did all of this? Well, this is one way of stealing Franklin's car. I'm trying this again. Now Chop's in my car. I'm going to try this again. Whatever you do, Franklin, don't leave your car, okay? What I might do is bring that helicopter down just a little bit lower. Just to make it a bit easier. If we line this up almost perfectly, then it shouldn't give them any chance to escape. Oh, <gasps> I've got the car. No. <laughs> I've got the car. Amazing. Now, let me just check. They're definitely in there. I'm slowing down time so I don't crash. They're in there, dude. I've got Chop and I've got Franklin. That's pretty cool. All right, so I picked up Chop in a car. You can do this. And Chop is not bailing from the car. Success. What if I drop the car, though? Should we just try that out? I'm going to three, two, one. Bye. Have a good time. Oh, my days. I would not want to be them. Oh. <laughs> He's driving off. Wow. All right, Franklin is going. He's glad to be out of that situation. Have a good day, Franklin. I'm going to stalk Michael. And whenever you stalk a character, they will turn around eventually and take you out. They don't enjoy being stalked. But since I've got Chop with me, I want to see if Chop will defend me when Michael turns around to knock me out. Oh, he's talking to me. He's asking me if this is a joke. This is no joke, Michael. I want to know what Chop will do if you make a swing for me. I know you will. Don't lose him, Franklin. Don't lose him. Get close. I ain't finding this funny. I am finding this hilarious. Will Chop defend me? Come on, Chop. Oh, he's cracking his knuckles. He's not happy about this. I genuinely think Chop's gonna defend me. Are you gonna swing for me or what, buddy? Come on, I got Chop with me. Are you scared of him? Oh, boy. He's taking a swing. Chop, are you gonna do anything? Chop did nothing. He did, he did nothing. He literally, he, Chop literally did nothing. Wow, myth busted. Does Chop scare other animals in this world? I'm gonna find some deer, which I believe spawn in somewhere around here. Hold on, there's a bunny rabbit there. All right, let's just get out. I can see a couple of rabbits. I mean, how are we gonna tell if they're scared? I don't see that rabbit anymore. I think that rabbit's hidden away. <laughs> there is a rabbit on the road though. Let's see. Oh my days. Wait, you're running away from me? No, why are you running away from me, rabbit? Come back here. So I think the rabbits are scared of Chop because they're running away from me, but I think rabbits are just genuinely scared of me anyway, so let's find, like, a bigger animal. You know what? This is kind of strange. I don't see any deers around here. I have a horrible feeling that animals are hiding whenever I'm hanging out with Chop. Let's go into Los Santos. I want to find some cats. The common myth is that dogs and cats don't get along. If I take Chop to a couple of houses where they've got pet cats, will Chop go after the cats? Will the cat run away? Will they argue? Let's find out. Alright, I found a cat on the sidewalk. Let me just study this cat for a second. So, you know, enjoying life, chilling, having a nice day. Oh, look, he's even having a small stroll, you know, like a slow one. Now, I'm gonna take Chop out of that car. What is the cat gonna do? Still grooving along. Oh, no, the cat got spooked. <laughs> that cat does not like dogs. Yeah, Chop scares the cats. I don't know what he does, but you terrified him, boy. This is the closest island I could find in GTA 5. I'm gonna swim over to it, and I wanna know what Chop does. Will he make it to the island, or will he stay on land? All right, Chop, I'll see you later. I'm gonna go over to this island now. I'm keeping an eye on you. He's staying on land. Is he gonna teleport to the island, though? Like, I, I think he will. He's done it with ladders before. What is he gonna do with this island? So I have to swim across. I'm now on the other side. <gasps> he teleported. That's amazing. Chop will teleport to the other island. Wow. I honestly thought we would never get Chop to this side of the island, but he did it. He get into islands and check it out. We can now play fetch. All right, myth real. Will Chop make it off the island if I dismiss him? So I've just dismissed Chop, which means he's now gonna run home. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, he does run off the island, we know that, but <laughs> he dies when he gets in the water. So that's kind of like busted. He's not gonna make it home. I'm at the metro and we're trying two myths. Will Chop fetch the ball if I throw it on the tracks? Bearing in mind, it is super difficult to get back up again. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Jeez. What are you doing, boy? Whoa, this is so weird. I don't think he can. Wow, he's smart enough not to go on the tracks, but stupid enough to climb up the stairs and jump off. <laughs> but let's find out if Chop will get on the train with you when we board. I think there's one coming in just a few minutes. All right, the doors are opening. I'm getting on board. Are you going to come with me? Friends won't follow you on a train. No. No. Chop, please. Don't do this to me. Come on, you can get on. No, 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 no. I don't think he will follow me, guys. Come on, Chop. Come on. Please don't do this to me, boy. Come on, you can do this. Just get on. Well, that settles that one, guys. Once the doors close, we'll find out once and for all. No! <laughs> oh, my days. It ran him over. <laughs> Chop will not follow you onto a train. Busted. I'm back at the maze because I want to see what happens if I dismiss Chop in the middle of the maze. All right, boy, get out. I'm going to try and confuse you as much as I can. So I'm going to try and go a really complicated way. Let's go through here. Oh, my days. Even this guy's lost. There's people in here, dude. Oh, no, this goes to, like, the outside. I want to stay in, in central as possible. I've already lost Chop. Oh, there you are. All right, Chop's there. That's all good. Let's go as deep as we can go. 
go close to the edge. If I go down this way and then make a turn here, I'm gonna really complicate a part of the maze. Now, I'm gonna send Chop away and see if he can find his way out of here again. Oh my days, is he gonna do it? He did it! He can find his way out of the maze as well! What? He's a genius. He's a living genius. For real. I've just arranged to hang out with Lamar. And now, I'm gonna hang out with Chop. That is disgusting, Chop. Come on, you're coming with me. There is Lamar and he's about to show up. Chop is in my passenger seat. No! No! <laughs> You can't hang out with them both. Oh, come on. What's wrong with Lamar, boy? What's he done to you? Oh, boy. Lamar almost got hit by a car. Myth busted. You can't hang out with both at the same time. Hey, uh, Lamar, I didn't actually want to hang out with you. I'm sorry. If I throw the ball into a ton of fire, will Chop still chase after it? All right, there we go. Go fetch, boy. It's only a little bit of fire. He will. Oh, hold on. What is he doing now? Are you going to get it, boy? No, he's not going to get it. Wait, where are you going? Ah! <laughs> what the are you kidding me? Seriously? What does this guy want? Well, that did not go as planned. I don't think he will get the ball. I'm gonna try this one more time. All right, we gotta switch location. Let's throw the ball on this hillside. Okay, just a couple. One, two, three, four. I wanna set this on fire as much as I can. Okay, ball is going right in the center. That's pretty good. There is no way he's getting that. Chop, are you gonna get it, boy? No, he's not gonna get it. I don't think he will. Well, what do you know? Chop is smart enough to not fetch the ball in a pile of fire. If you're driving a tank and shoot anything that's glass, it will actually ricochet the rockets. Check this out. This is the weirdest thing ever. You can crash your game if you follow these four simple steps. Make sure you're unarmed. Select your fists. Go into first person mode and then select a sniper. <laughs> I have literally just crashed my game. Are you kidding me? You can't lift everything with a forklift. There is a weight limit, but you can get around this by simply following this little step. Take this vehicle over here. It is way too heavy for a forklift truck to pick up. Check this out. There is no way I am lifting that up. If you want to lift anything up, all you need to do is make sure they're on the ground. And then as you begin lifting, but before it hits the truck, get out and then it should continue to lift up. <laughs> Amazing. Hold on a second. I want to use another one. All right, let's try on this side. I'm going to lift it. All right, three, two, one. Lift up. Get out. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> This is awesome! For this next myth, I'm in a race with The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. And if we overtake him in YouTube subscribers, we might just be able to meet him. Subscribe now and help us smash that goal. Franklin has a girlfriend in this game. I'm not even kidding. There is a secret number in which you can actually phone her. 611-555-0126. Oh, Liz, that's her name. So, do you want to get together or what? Sure, I like the sound of that. Come pick me up. And she will let you pick her up. You can take her back to her house and then spend the night together. I've just picked up Liz. This is what she looks like. Good day, Liz. How are we doing? Take her home. All right, where's your house, Liz? <laughs> literally over there. Oh, my days. I've taken her back home, and this is what happens. If you follow her upstairs, you literally spend the night with Liz. These characters know so many people that we don't even know about. You just need to find their number. Between the hours of noon and 1 p.m., there is a rare car that will only spawn at the movie studio. It might take a couple of tries to find it. It, but let's see if we can get it first try. The time is currently half past 12, and this is the only location you can get it. It is a really nice classic car, and you can take this, and no one will come after you. The Albany Roosevelt. This is a throwback out of half. <laughs> All right, Michael, enjoy your new car, buddy. If you've damaged your car and you don't have time to repair it, there is a really easy solution to do it, and it doesn't cost any money. As you can see, I've completely busted the front of this car. All you need to do is switch to another character, switch back to the original, and your car should automatically be repaired. As you can see, the front is totally repaired. The windows are still busted, but the front is A-OK. -okay. This is a really good way to get your car back into tip-top condition. Even though it looks like the windows are broken, the car is completely fixed. Whenever you're driving around and you get some air like this, switch to any other character. I'm gonna go to Michael, because when you switch back, you'll love what happens. <laughs> All right, let's go straight back to Franklin. What is he doing? <gasps> I'm flying. No way. <laughs> you will literally see the car fly in the animation. It is so weird. If you're flying a plane and you're close enough to water, whenever you get out, you will automatically dive into the water. But this happens whenever you're in a plane. You will dive and sort of dive sideways. It's really weird. <laughs> but this is when it gets kind of fun. If you jump out just before you hit land, you'll continue to dive, but this time dive straight onto land <laughs> and survive just like that. Frankly, nice little backflip you did. There is this wavy balloon guy, which I really love. It's outside Simeon's store, and he just oozes fun. I mean, come on, guys. How can you be angry when you look at this guy? Now, this balloon is extremely interactable. If you aim and then start going towards the balloon, you can actually move the balloon with you. Oh, 
Ooh, 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 hey! <laughs> this is the coolest myth ever. Bye! Have a good time! If you press like on the video right now, something will actually happen to the video. I'm not even kidding. Press like in the count of three. Three, two, one. Press the like button. If you're flying a helicopter as one of the characters and then get another character to bring a helicopter to the same location, something really funny happens. There's Franklin. So I'm going to go up to Franklin and just listen to this. They will try and hang out with each other even though they're in helicopters. jumped out. No, come on. So Franklin literally will jump out of his helicopter. Are you going to parachute? Oh my days. All right. Well, don't do that. If you hold tear gas and then pull the trigger and wait until it stops beeping and then throw it at the wall, it will stick to the wall. It's so strange. You can do this on any wall you want to. You just can't do this to cars and people. See, this is what happens if you don't wait. It will fall down. This is what happens until you wait until it stops beeping again. Throw it again and it's on the wall. If you remove all of the ammo in your weapon and then go and rob a store, you can still rob stores. And it's pretty funny what happens. Listen to this. That is literally just me shooting nothing. Give me your money. You can rob stores with no ammunition. That would kind of make sense, but it's still pretty cool to see. How much are we going to get today, buddy? Oh, don't make me ask again because I will. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'll be leaving you now. There is a motion sensor light outside Denise's house, and it is the only one which actually works with motion. This light is totally indestructible. You can't even stop it. There it is on the garage, and as you go closer, it will switch on. There it is. Switched on. And then if we walk away, watch what happens. It switches off. <laughs> and then when you get closer, it switches back on again. But check this out. You can't destroy this light no matter what you do. I've lined up three, four, five, six, seven, and eight NPCs. As you can see, three of them you can take out with one bullet. Let's move on to four NPCs. Four of them take out with one bullet. Let's go on to five. Even five of them still dropped with one bullet. Now let's go on to six. Even six of them still dropped. Even seven of them still dropped. Okay, right, let's do eight. No way are we gonna take out all eight of them. <gasps> one person is left standing. You can take out only seven people with one bullet. If you go to the Los Santos graveyard at 10 a.m., there is a really sad Easter egg which appears. It is a dog which will always go to his owner's grave. Let me see if I can find this dog. There's the flowers. <gasps> there he is. Oh my days. No. <laughs> <laughs> Without fail, at 10 a.m. every day, he will always appear at the graveyard. I want to see which gravestone it is. There is a certain gravestone he will always go to. Oh, man, he's so adorable. <laughs> oh, no. His owner must have really recently died, and this dog has come to the grave every single day. It is the same dog every time with the same collar, same size, same waggly tail. Oh, my days, this is heartbreaking. If you love this dog, press like on the video. Every like we get, more love goes to this dog. There is a secret walkway underneath the pier in Vespa. Beach. This is the walkway, and you can climb up it by doing this. It is a really secret location that I don't think you can get to any other way. This is long. This is really long. <laughs> this is massive. Oh my days, it goes along the whole pier. Are you kidding me? Yo, this is like the best location if you want to play hide and seek with your friends. They won't know how you get under here. They'll see you on the radar, but they'll have no idea where you are. And the only exit is over here, where you can just dive into the water. How crazy is that? For as long as you use a telescope, the police won't shoot you. Check this out, guys. I'm gonna pay one dollar and just take a look through this. Oh, hey guys, they're not shooting me. He's literally telling his men to hold fire. <laughs> now you can enjoy your nice leisurely afternoon and not have to worry about the police bothering you. I'm a bit worried about letting go of this telescope though. Let's see what happens. Oh boy. Oh my god. <laughs> There's so many officers around me. Hey, guys. Hey. Oh, geez. Let's get back on that telescope. If you're in first person, bring up your fist, punch, and then bring up your phone. And this will happen. One of your fists will just end up being completely detached from your body. <laughs> As you move around, it sort of looks like it's dislocated. This is so weird. You can walk around like this. And to everyone else, I mean, I wonder if it looks a bit weird. Not gonna lie. <laughs> We just look angry for no reason. But you could, like, use your phone and your fist still remains there. It is such a weird glitch. Phone calls stop working the moment you stand in water. Check this out. I'm gonna phone up Trevor. Would he like to hang out? Busy. No, 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 he's busy. But the moment I get out of water and then phone him up again, I'm put straight through. So you just can't make phone calls when your feet are a little bit wet. If you go into a body of water where you're still able to stand in the middle and then bring out your RPG, look down and fire at the water. And what will happen is the rocket will spin out. <laughs> this is awesome. And then fire again. Woo! 
Look at it go. You can experience some pretty crazy moments with this. There is no saying where the rocket's gonna go. <laughs> taxi drivers are the scariest people in the whole of Los Santos. Check this out. I'm gonna call a taxi and then provoke all of the people around me. So now they're literally my enemies. Hey guys, I got a problem with all of you. <laughs> These guys. And now I've got a bit of a problem with everyone on Grove Street. There's my taxi and check out what happens when I get inside the taxi. They disappear and they don't just disappear. They literally like it. This is a really good method to just lose people who you want to get off your tail. You can keep people alive for as long as you're tasing them. Check this out. I'm gonna light this guy on fire, basically. All right, Molotov down. He isn't gonna survive very long. Give it a few seconds, give it a few seconds, and unfortunately, he didn't make it, guys. But let me do the same thing to this guy, except I'm gonna tase him when he's on fire. All right, now he's on fire. Let's keep tasing this guy. You're not dying on me, buddy. Oh, no. For as long as you're tasing them, you can literally keep them alive. Check it out. Now I stopped tasing him, and he just died. So you can basically keep him alive longer as long as you're tasing them. But they're, they're still gonna die, unfortunately. Did you know that police officers will help you out if someone actually starts attacking you, even if you provoke them first? Here we go. Watch this, guys. All he needs to do is throw the first punch, and the police officers will come to my help. Ah! Come on, man. Come on. Come on. I dare you. I oh, jeez. He's actually punching me. <laughs> okay, let's get him closer to the police station. Hey, buddy, just do another punch over here. Go on, I dare you. I dare you. I dare you, man. Oh, oh my days. He's actually gonna kill us, Michael. <laughs> Hey, please! <laughs> Where are they, man? They're meant to help me. Now, I provoked this guy, and the police officer literally shot him down. <laughs> Thanks, man. Even though I was the reason why he started to attack me. If you jump on top of helicopter blades whilst the helicopter is on, you will die. Check this out, guys. Oh, boy, Michael. This is not gonna end well. Oh! <laughs> yeah, don't do that. It's not a good way to go. If you're driving a bus, park it like this next to a gap in the highway. And cars will literally drive off. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh my days, this is hilarious. You can rapid fire with just grenades. This is the quickest you can throw grenades. You gotta remove the pin and then throw. Any car will do as long as you can slide over the hood. So this is how you do it. If you have a grenade, you're gonna wanna hold it, throw it, and then slide over the hood and then keep throwing grenades. And what you will notice is you no longer have to pull the pin and you can throw them much quicker. It's only like a tiny difference, but it's still a pretty cool difference. You can add a pearlescent paint job to any paint on your car. If you try and do this any other way, whenever you select a matte color and then try and get a pearlescent, it won't let you do it because you must have a metallic or a crew respray. There is actually a way around doing this. If you select any sort of matte color, so let's go with blue, and then click on metallic, but don't actually select anything. Go back, back again, back one more time, go onto your number plate and switch your number plate to anything you want to. And then when you go back to respray, go down to pearlescent, and now it will let you select any pearlescent job you want to on your matte paint job. By doing this, you basically trick the game into thinking you've got a metallic paint job, when actually it is completely matte. No matter what you do, stun guns can't actually kill animals. There is a bunny rabbit over here, and I'm gonna demonstrate. Yeah, there we go, got him. And then wait for him a second, he'll get back up, don't worry, and he's back to normal again. If you're driving a jet ski or a boat, you can't drown even if you go underwater. And that makes for some pretty fun stuff whenever you find big boats like these. Because if you sail underneath them, your jet ski will continue to go underwater and you can just drive this like a submarine. And you can do this all the way underneath the boat. And even if you want to stay here, you still won't even drown. As you can see, nothing is happening to Franklin's health bar. It doesn't even register the fact I'm underwater, even though I clearly am. You can have quite a bit of fun in this area because there is so much to explore when you're underneath this boat. It is massive. If you try and go inside Michael's house when you're playing as Franklin, the garage door won't open. But that's okay because there's another way in. If you stand outside the garage door and then switch to any other character and then immediately switch back to Franklin, what you will notice is the garage door will start opening and you'll be able to go inside. Check it out. It is literally open. Now I've broken into Michael's house and we can explore the whole inside. You can do this at any point in time. You just need be able to switch characters. Did you know the volume increases whenever you zoom in on sniper rifles? Pretty cool. I think a plane just landed too. There it is. loud. For some really strange reason, whenever you go inside a tunnel, it will slow you down whenever you're running. Check this out. And now I'm, I've slowed down. It's almost as if you're going inside a character's house. And you will stay like this until you get to the other side of the tunnel, and then it will let you run normally again. I have no idea why this happens. And it's kind of annoying. Even if you try and run again, you still run extra slowly. And then check this out. The moment I leave the tunnel, we speed up again and go back to normal running speed. Normally, when you're in cover, if you want to see where you're aiming, you got to do 
this. And then you get that white dot and you can line it up wherever you want. But there is a much more accurate way of doing this. If you move forward whilst you're in cover, then you can look and you can get your white dot. And wherever the white dot is placed will be exactly where you shoot. So now when I aim and fire, we get perfect accuracy every single time. For this next myth, did you know that the golf course is restricted airspace? And it's not just like you'll get a wanted level or something. They will literally give you the same message they give you whenever you're in the military base. Listen to this. Attention aircraft, this airspace is prohibited. Reverse course now. How about no? I'm not gonna reverse course. Oh my days, I got two stars. <laughs> <laughs> they will literally tell you things like, I'm gonna shoot down your aircraft unless you leave. This is literally the golf course. Chill out, guys. Come on. Can I not fly around here? <laughs> There are not many places where this happens. They're usually government facilities or like the military base. If your car is damaged like this one, look at the bumper, that's coming off. You can also repair the car by doing something else. Park it in the garage of any character. This car will automatically save in the garage. No matter what you do, it will stay here. The garage will also repair the car. Check this out. And by the time you wake up and check out the car, it's still there and it's fully repaired. If you go into first person and then bring out your phone just as you walk into the water and then wait until your phone goes goes away in your hand and comes up on the screen, you'll notice something really funny happens. And now I'm out of the water and now my other hand is it's a little bit weird. <laughs> What does this even look like? Every time I move forward, it's like my other hand is trying to grab the phone. It's almost like I've switched the phone between hands. At this location is a secret spot which lets you stand underwater. It's super easy to do and it's one of the few places which lets you do this. Dive underwater and very slowly swim around this wall as close as you can. And eventually, what will happen is your character will stand underwater. Almost there, almost. It should be at any moment now. And you're gonna wanna nudge forward just ever so slightly until eventually your character is placed underwater and he's standing. There it is. We've done it. This should happen and when you go in first person, you can like see everything underwater, even fishies swimming around in the middle of the air. <laughs> it is so weird. When you look at him in camera mode, Michael is literally just standing underwater. There is a secret money truck which will occasionally spawn in this location and there is a guy holding a briefcase of cash. You can choose to rob the cash before he puts it in or you can trace down the money truck and blow it straight out of the back. I'm gonna do it the cool way. Let's get this over with. Nope, you're not getting this over with. I am gonna take the cash. <laughs> oh boy, they're not gonna be happy about this. All right, three, two, one, blow the doors open. Oh no, 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 no. And I've got the cash, $6,000, not too bad. And there's not even a wanted level to chase me down. The atomic blimp can actually float on water. Check this out. As you can see, my oxygen levels are going down because the actual area where Michael is, is underwater. You can drown like this, but the blimp's gonna be okay because it's a massive vehicle full of gas. Something really strange happens at bus stops. As you can see, there's two people sitting down here, but the moment you kick the bus stop, you literally kill one. <laughs> Don't understand how this works. I didn't even touch that guy. He just fainted, okay? At this location is a secret pile of tires underwater. There's gotta be thousands, if not millions of tires here. There's so many, there's too many to even count. These tires are buried in the ocean bed and they're scattered everywhere, but this pile really tops it off. There's so many. Oh, wow, it even goes down here. That's insane. This is meant to be some sort of Easter egg, but it's still pretty impressive to know. If you go to this construction site just next to Michael's house and jump over this fence, something really strange begins happening to your character. He will literally bug out and you will stay like this until you move away. Chop can actually be well behaved. If you're hanging out with him and go inside a store, he will wait until you're done. Chop, I'm just gonna go and get some clothes, okay? He literally sits outside. Oh my day. You can now shop around, do whatever you want. Let's look at some outfits. I'm gonna go for white chinos. And then the moment you're done, Chop will stand back up and be a lovely dog again. Ain't that right, boy? <laughs> Let's go. Not every vehicle is chop compatible, but if you get inside massive ones like dump trucks, chop will actually follow you. There is no way he's getting in here, but the game will actually say he will follow the vehicle, which is something you don't usually get. If you get onto a vehicle which chop can't get on, he will just go home. But now he'll follow me around and he's actually pretty good at it. Look at him. He's sprinting. Just be careful you don't get hit by a car, boy. Just be careful about that. There is a pile of poo right outside his kennel. And if you drag a bike over it and then just rev the back tire, you can spray it across the whole wall. Oh my days. <laughs> this is not good. Oh no, Chop, don't go into it. And then watch what happens when I rev my engine over normal ground. Just smoke. <laughs> 
literally just smoke. That is disgusting, but it works. For this next myth, did you know you can open gates like extremely quickly by doing one simple trick? This is what happens when you push open a gate. All you want to do is hold a pistol, aim, and then look at the gate and watch what happens. The gate will fly open. I mean, you save yourself a couple of seconds. It's good if you're on foot. Other than that, it's not really the most useful myth, but it's still pretty cool to know, right? Did you know you can hang out with your friends in helicopters and it gets even cooler? I've just picked up Trevor, who's taking the front seat. Nice one, Trevor. Michael's gotta be annoyed. Trevor took the front seat. You're gonna go around the side. Get in, Michael. Now Michael's in my helicopter. Check this out, guys. You can hang out with them whilst flying around Los Santos, but you could also hang out together parachuting. I think this is high enough. Jump out, everybody. <laughs> Let's parachute. Wow, they actually had parachutes. And now you can hang out together whilst you're parachuting through the sky. I'm gonna try and shoot one of them. Michael, I don't like your parachute. <laughs> I can shoot their parachutes. Oh my days. Trevor's gonna be so angry at me. I wanna try and get one to do a spin. Way, way. <laughs> I could try and like really mess them up right now. Ooh. Oh, 360. Let's go, Michael. Wow, I could really do this all day. This is amazing. <laughs> Oh, my days. There is a house just below Franklin's, and there's a plant pot on the porch. If you destroy the plant and then climb onto the plant pot, you will fall under the map. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on, Trevor. We're almost going. Oh, my days. Dude, how do we not fall under the map? Let's try that again. Easy. Fall through. Dude, this thing doesn't even exist. This is so... Oh, uh, no! <laughs> And now I'm under the map. That's amazing. If you come over to this tower at Rebel Radio and then shoot around it, you will actually hear a Morse code. This is Rebel Radio. This is the location, by the way. And all you need to do is stand next to the tower. And the moment you make any sort of sound, such as shooting, you will actually hear Morse code from the tower. That is the weirdest sound ever. I have no idea what it means. If you guys can crack Morse code, give it a go. But do you hear that weird alien signal? Oh, that's so creepy. What could it possibly be? A few years ago, players discovered a really scary myth which only happens with the jerry can. And if you pour the jerry can just like this in two circles, I'm gonna make this one all the way around. We'll probably have to speed this one up, guys. <laughs> and this is the first circle. And then all you need to do is make another circle, but this time, keep it like a meter away from the first circle and draw this one straight around the other circle. Players have done this in the past and speculated that this is how you summon ghosts. Some people have actually claimed to have seen ghosts and heard scary noises. And then the moment you start shooting them, they will actually connect up and create this really creepy sort of effect where they start crossing over. Some people even speculate that this is how you summon the devil in GTA 5. This next myth is down in the sewers. But before I go down there, I need to show you something important. I'm going into the Grand Theft Auto files. Because trust me, there is a really scary thing in here. Inside the actual game files is this file, which says Sewer Gate. And if you listen to the file, there are four different audios. There is this one, this one, this one, and this one. This could mean only one thing. There is a genuine monster down in the sewers. That sounds like a monster and is literally called the Sewer Gator. And there is a genuine location where when you go down into the sewers, you can actually hear the Sewer Gator. This actually exists. As you go down into the sewers, pay close attention to what you see on the ground because there's a bunch of these like pipes which have these scratches on the ground. I mean, these are definitely scratches. It looks like some giant claws have just clawed at the mud. Anyway, if you stand next to these pipes, you will begin to hear those noises from the sewer gator. Did you hear that? I told you guys, it actually exists in GTA. We believe there is a monster in the swamp, right outside the military base. This murky area, there is a monster living here, and a few players have actually claimed to have seen it. However, getting close to this monster is almost impossible. I don't think anyone has actually encountered it in the sense where it's taken them out. As I aim in, we've got heat vision enabled, and you can see every single animal in the swamp. But the more you look, the more you'll realize there's some pretty strange things going on. Because it keeps its distance, it will never get too close to you. But you should eventually see something pop out in the heat vision. Hold on a second. What is that? Have I just found it? Oh my days. I literally have no idea what animal that is. That does not look like an animal in GTA 5. And then check this out. If I disappear and then try and get close to it, it would not be there. Come on, please be there. Please be there. Imagine if this is the first time we actually encounter the swamp monster. <laughs> Could you imagine that? Oh no, it's not here anymore. It's it's completely disappeared. Ah, oh, man, look at this, guys. There is literally nothing here. But if I zoom in again, what is 
that. I reckon that's a bird. I mean, there's just so many birds here. But if you look very carefully, hidden amongst them will be the swamp monster. You guys won't want to avoid this myth, but Michael definitely will. Because did you know Tracy isn't actually Michael's daughter? I know. This is crazy. If you take a look at Tracy at first glance, you will just think that, oh, maybe she dyed her hair blonde. Because, you know, Michael's got black hair. Amanda's got black hair. The chances of having a daughter with blonde hair, pretty slim. Neither of Michael's grandparents have blonde hair. I mean, his dad's bald, so that doesn't count. But Tracy is still has blonde hair, even when she's a kid. It doesn't end there. See, she's really young there, and she's still got blonde hair. I know what you're thinking. Does this really prove anything? Maybe they made a slip up. Well, let me show you guys something else. Amanda has blue eyes. Tracy has the same eyes as Amanda, and so does Jimmy. They all have blue eyes. Michael has green eyes. I'm not even kidding. You can see them right here. They're green. This is where it gets even crazier. Amanda admits in the storyline that she gets pregnant with Tracy just after she meets Michael. Before that, she was known to, uh, date Brad. I'm not even kidding. You know the guy in Prologue who died in the first mission? That guy. Your friend. Trevor? Oh, the other guy. But then you came on so strong. All that charm, all that talk, and now look at us. Two kids, a million lies, and a near divorce later. I love you. What color hair does Brad have? Oh, he's got blonde hair. What color are his eyes? Exactly the same color as Amanda's. Let's just not tell Michael about this secret. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm trying to overtake Dwayne The Rock Johnson in subscribers. If you're enjoying the video so far, subscribe now and help us overtake The Rock. This is one of the creepiest houses in GTA 5. If you go over to the location, it's like literally right here, and then check out the windows at nighttime, you will literally see blood on the windows. But it gets even creepier. If you start shooting, shooting at the windows. Are you seeing that, guys? There's literally blood coming out of the windows. Like, I don't understand why this happens, but it does. Go to this house and give it a go. If you phone up Trevor and Michael and hang out with both characters and then take them to the mineshaft, something terrifying can happen. Gentlemen, welcome to the mineshaft. There's too many scary things that happen in here. I'm sure you guys are way too familiar with what can go on, but today I'm gonna show you something even scarier. Watch out, guys. There is a grenade next to the doors, okay? Don't go near them. <laughs> Oh my days, I'm actually going inside. Wait, where's Trevor? Trevor, you're coming inside, buddy. You are not... <laughs> Come on, man. You're coming in. Monsters actually eat the other players you whip. Stop leaving me, Trevor. Come here. Trevor really doesn't want to come down here. Oh, my days. I have a feeling he's going to be eaten by a monster first. Wait, hold on, dude. I think I can see him. Oh, my days. Yo, he's not even in the mineshaft any. He's on the road. I genuinely need to see where he's gone. Trevor, see what I mean? Really weird things happen. They don't want to go in here for a reason. I'm placing you back down here, Trevor. What the? Trevor, what are you... See what I mean? Terrifying. It gets even scarier than this, because the deeper you go, the weirder things happen. Wait, return to Trevor. Trevor, please tell me you have not just vanished again, buddy. Trevor was abandoned? Are you kidding me? Trevor was not abandoned. He was literally next to Michael the entire time. See what I mean? If you go down here with the characters, they will just disappear on you. You might remember this location from story mode. You know, you blow up the house and it just turns into a pile of rubble. Well, if you explore this house in the middle of the night, people have actually heard babies crying. Like, proper screaming. I'm gonna leave you guys to this one. If you hear the baby scream, let me know in the comments. Speaking of screaming, at this location between the hours of 11 p.m. and midnight, a ghost will spawn on top of the cliff. There is the ghost up there. Oh my days, you are terrifying. This ghost will disappear if you get too close to it, but if you stand down here at the campsite, you can actually hear a recording of the woman screaming as she was pushed off the cliff. It gets even creepier. She will begin whispering in your ear. Take a listen. That was the whisper. And that was the scream. There is a natural disaster happening to the globe right now. Right outside the observatory is this cliff edge. And on the cliff is a bunch of litter. It looks like it's been washed up on this hillside. And that's because it has. Check it out. There's just cans. There's burger wraps. Oh my days. There's half tires. Dude, it goes all the way down here. There is so much litter. Like, it is so unnatural for this game. You do not find litter like this anywhere else. To make it even stranger, there is a piece of sea coral on the cliff side. This is here on 
on every single platform you play GTA 5 on, which is crazy. Another hint that this was once underwater. I'm in Sandy Shores, and the photo is in this barber store. Right behind the first aid kit is the first photo you will ever see of a tsunami literally sweeping through Los Santos. It's crazy. Wow, that's a big wave. And to prove this even more, there is a world map right next to it. And if you pay close attention, you'll realize there's tsunamis happening all across the globe. California is experiencing a massive heat wave. Brazil is basically underwater. And even the UK is like a quarter underwater. Like, this is crazy. There are tsunamis everywhere. And this world map actually makes sense. Because if you go on your phone and check out the internet, and then type in Alamo, click on visit the Alamo Sea, it will tell you the weather is still the same. 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Moderate to severe threat of earthquakes. That is extremely hot. I'm telling you now, you do not want to go to this location. This is the Outrus camp, and inside are a bunch of really crazy characters who will happily just sacrifice you, basically. Underneath their camp is this secret cave, and I don't like hanging about in this cave because this is a sacrifice cave. If you spend too long in here, the Outrus guys might actually come for you. According to a couple of people, it's happened to them. Check out this cave. There is literally a ram's head in here, dude. Looks like they sacrificed an animal already, but inside is the sun. There's another sun. There's the sunrise, and there's also the sunset. These guys literally worship everything to do with the sun, and they will sacrifice people and animals in order to get more of it. How crazy is that? Inside Lester's house are a bunch of really scary Easter eggs and myths. If you go inside, you'll realize you're surrounded by basically too much information. Locked doors, to random stickers, to just random things Lester owns. But if you explore the house even more, you'll realize there's an even deeper meaning to some of this stuff. There is a box which literally says zombie outbreaks. Lester knows something which we don't. There is an entire mystery into actually making a zombie outbreak happen in GTA 5. Inside this dumpster are bags of infectious waste. What else could that possibly be? It's literally got blood on the bags. If this doesn't remind you of a zombie apocalypse, I don't know what does. That's just one of the myths you should avoid. But there's another one down here on the newspapers. Because there's a bunch of caves around GTA 5 and Lester genuinely believes this is where aliens live. And you can actually find alien parts in all of these caves. But look at this newspaper. Explorer discovers the Cry Cave. And he's drawn a UFO on the paper as if it's flying into the cave. And in this cave, you can actually find actual UFO parts, which are part of a side quest. But many people have been in here and experienced some pretty abnormal things, such as aliens visiting them, random glows from the water, and even UFOs appearing in the sky. I am yet to encounter this stuff, but if you guys want to have some fun and aren't scared too easily, then spend the night here and see what happens. If you're still watching, press like on the video below. Let's see if we can get this to 100,000 likes. This next one is really creepy. I'm over here and I'm inside this like abandoned warehouse. And if you look through some of these garage doors, you will notice there is literally a snowman in there looking right back at you. <laughs> I have no idea why this snowman is here. And it is one of the creepiest Easter eggs I've ever seen. This is one of the first myths I ever found out about this game. And it is so weird and scary. This house, according to myth, once believed to uh, someone who wasn't too nice to people in real life. There's one person barbecuing perfect. Now, he might look like he's just barbecuing. Maybe he's the owner of this place. But if you run into them, they will literally die. Look at that guy. I literally just killed him, dude. All I did was run into him. And now these two people are terrified. I'm coming back here again. I want to show you this definitely happens. Check out these two people. Bye. Sorry. <laughs> literally just killed them both. And I ran into them. I don't understand. Nowhere else is like this. Rumor has it, this house once belonged to Charles Manson. And if you know anything about that guy, you'll know he wasn't a nice person. Michael had a dog. And this is a photo of him. He looks adorable. You know, it's a lovely Labrador. Happy, smiling. He's got a photo. Tracy's got a photo. And you know, it was part of the family. Do I need to state the obvious? Michael's dog isn't here anymore. Where did the dog go? Well, that's the question which I'm about to answer. And you're gonna want to avoid this myth if you don't like heartbreak. There are two possibilities. The dog ran away or the dog was abandoned. I'm pretty convinced Michael abandoned the dog because the dog can be found in GTA 5, but only in one location, and that's really far away. The furthest point you can possibly get from Michael's house. I am 110% convinced this is Michael's dog. There's too many similarities for it not to be, and there's countless videos online which prove it's Michael's dog. It's not just me who thinks this. Anyway, you're gonna want to go to the most northern point of the map on this beach, and as you go along here, you will will find a dog. <laughs> and if you're lucky, in the evening, it will be Michael's dog. There it is. And the dog will run all the way along the coastline and then walk over here and 
sit down over where the umbrellas are. And there's no one there. There's not even an owner. This dog literally has no owner. It is one of the only dogs in the game which has no owner. He won't stop looking at me as well. Like, this is an ownerless dog in the furthest point from Michael's house. Looks exactly the same, and he won't stop looking at me. For almost a decade, players have encountered really scary noises down here. From sea monster whales to Morse code to clicking and even eyes looking back at them. I'm not even kidding. This image is what players believe is the Kraken in GTA 5. The two bright dots are meant to be its eyes. And this makes a lot of sense, considering at the bottom of the ocean are giant sea monster skeletons. Could you imagine if someone actually encountered a real-life version of this monster? First of all, they would not survive. And second of all, it would be massive. I'm going to prove to you that this myth can actually be done. But you're going to want to avoid it because it's not very fun for the characters. <laughs> Michael is on the end of that pier. Check him out. He's just chilling, enjoying life, probably looking at the lovely view. Franklin, on the other hand, is here. Michael, what's up? So I'm going to leave Michael here. And Franklin, on the other hand, he's going to go into the ocean. I'm going to sail Franklin really far out into the ocean. But far enough that I can still see Michael DeSanta. So let's go. So it's definitely deep underneath us. But, you know, so we definitely can't swim back to shore. <laughs> oh, man. Why am I doing this? This is crazy. <laughs> yep, this is definitely far enough for now. I'm going to leave Franklin right here. And I'm getting him out of the boat. Now I'm in the water. You can actually switch back to any other character. In this case, I'm going to go straight to Michael. I can see Franklin's boat. And Franklin is still in the ocean. Where is he? I know you're there, buddy. He's literally swimming around. He's stranded. Let's get a closer look at him. There he is, guys. I've left him stranded in the ocean. And to the elements, the players don't do anything. They will just swim forever. <laughs> it's so weird. Until sharks surround him and eventually he drowns. So, I mean, it's fun if you just want to mess around with the characters. But, oh my days, he literally just died. No. No. <laughs> Well, that's what happens if you strand the characters in the middle of the ocean. You can have endless fun with these water hydrants. But one thing I would never recommend doing is going into one whilst holding a sticky bomb. Because this happens. You die. <laughs> I don't know why, but it kills you. Did you know the moon changes in GTA 5? Right now, it's a very slim crescent moon. But as the days go on, it will keep growing and growing and growing. Right now, it is a half moon. A couple more days in, and we're almost at a full moon. I think we're one day away now. That looks like a full moon to me. I'm telling you this because some pretty weird things happen when it's a full moon in GTA. I'm at this camp, which I'm sure many of you have seen if you played this game. These people will worship the the full moon. And you only have to listen to some of their conversations. They literally admit it themselves. But whenever there's a full moon in any site where there's aliens, these guys will be doing yoga. And it has to be in the middle of the night. Exactly midnight. Full moon in the sky. And this is one of the locations you'll find them. It is an abandoned water tank. But if you climb up the ladder, check this out. And there they are. They're doing yoga in the most random place of all places. This only happens when there's a full moon in the sky. How crazy is that? A few players have encountered a mysterious liquid leaking from the humane labs. I have a feeling it's to do with the aliens they keep inside there. Or whatever it is, they definitely keep some secret things in there. These are some photos of what they caught. It's literally a green glow underwater. Unfortunately, I've never seen this myself. But if you take a look at what's actually under the water, there is this pipe which leaks out on both sides. It's the only thing down here. The only answer is occasionally, every now and then, it will leak this green stuff. And I have no idea what it is, but it's definitely got something to do with what they're doing inside the humane labs. If you see a green glow, let me know in the comments and tell me how you did it. Michael is dead. We took him out at the end of campaign. As you can see, he can't be accessed anymore. For the longest time, we have been searching his house looking for ghosts. Check out some of the videos I did on my channel. I literally saw sightings. I saw them in the window. I could hear noises. And this happens at 3 a.m. outside Michael's house. Only if you kill Michael at the end. Let me show you something even scarier. The next myth. This is what happens when you take out Trevor and go to his house. There have been so many sightings of Trevor's ghost in this window. In fact, this is probably much scarier than Michael's ghost. I'm not even kidding. I'm pretty confident I have seen Trevor's face in that window before. This is the perfect time to go, and many people say that if you go when it's foggy, you have a better chance of finding Trevor's ghost. But Ron isn't too happy with you, by the way. <laughs> He'll still be hanging out 
out here and uh, he won't speak to you. And if he does, it won't be very nice. So you're gonna have to watch out for him. Welcome to the motel. Inside are a bunch of rooms filled with random people and abandoned items. But many people have come here and heard scary noises and even clowns. When this was first discovered, so many players just wrote off the motel. They did not want to go here because I'm not gonna lie, clowns can be pretty scary and they can be seen in any of these rooms. Some of them might even attack you. Afternoon, gentlemen. <laughs> I'm gonna have a quick stroll around this motel and see if I can spot any clowns. I don't think you have to come here at any certain time, so I decided to come here when it's- Oh my days, this- <laughs> Jeez, there is a giant boar. Are you kidding me? See what I mean? You'll find- Oh, my- You're still in there! Why are you- <laughs> Go! <laughs> oh, my days! Okay, I don't think we're finding any clowns today, but you guys get the idea. It's a pretty scary place. Go here if you dare. For these next myths, I'm hanging out with Chop. Because there's a couple of things you really need to know. Chop has a bull. This is the bull. He will play fetch. Chop will more than happily bring the bull back to you. Come on, boy. Bring me the bull. Bring me the bull. Oh, you're a good dog. Oh, yeah. You're, you're a good dog. <laughs> but whatever you do, don't throw smoke grenades like these because shop will actually chase them oh my days <laughs> and more importantly do not throw grenades so i really need to explain what happens if you throw a grenade shop will literally get it and he will die and believe it or not shop will actually attack lamar if you tell him to go on boy go get him oh my days dude don't do this please just avoid these ones they're myths and they're real avoid them <laughs> I'm sorry, Lamar. I'll, I'll, I'll make it up to you. Who's a good boy? Not you. But one thing you should never do is let Chop get in the sea. Because if he does, he will die. He can't swim. It might look like he doesn't care about the ocean too much. But believe me, he does. Go on, Chop. Go get the ball. Oh, my days. Oh, we almost got washed up. <laughs> let me show you guys. I'm gonna do it again. Go on. Go on, boy. Go on. Go get the ball. Go get the ball. Go get the ball. No? All right, that's cool. <laughs> See, he won't even get the ball. And it's literally right here. Let me throw it over there. Chop was killed. He literally drowned. Yeah, don't hang around in the water with him, guys. He won't last. For this next myth, do not stalk Franklin. Trust me. There he is over there. Franklin's hanging out and he's on his phone. I'm gonna go over to him and say hello and then just reject any offer to go out for a drink. Hey, Mike. You stalking me or what? I am stalking you, Franklin. You grab a drink or something? And I don't want to grab a drink. I'm gonna have to decline. Uh, no, I can't right now, Franklin. As you wish, man. See you later. So now I've declined the invitation. Franklin's gonna go off and do his own thing. But if you stalk him and stay close enough, you won't believe what happens. And trust me, you don't want to do this yourself. It might take a minute or so. So we're gonna speed up the whole thing. You acting like a creepy ass stalker now, man. Now Franklin is talking to me. He's literally telling me to stop stalking him and that he's getting a bad feeling about this. Oh, oh, oh. For this big guy. <gasps> oh my days. And that happens, guys. He literally turns around and knocks Michael out. So don't stalk Franklin. <laughs> But I'm now going to show you what happens if you stalk Michael, because I think that's even better. Are you following me, kid? I am following you, Michael. Have you got a problem with that or something? <laughs> oh, I love doing this. Oh, here we go. Choice, funny guy. Same thing. Literally same thing. But he knocks Franklin out. And he calls me a funny guy, which, you know what, I'll take it. <laughs> So that's what happens. There is a grave on top of this mountain. It's completely DIY and someone put this here. Who is buried inside that grave? Let me tell you. Because right across the mountain is this lighthouse isolated in the middle of nowhere. Inside the house lives a woman called Ursula, who you can actually meet in GTA 5. Some of the other characters can also have dates with Ursula. She doesn't really have a specific character she enjoys going out with. But there she is. She looks like a hiker and she's got a red backpack. Come on, Ursula, get in my car. Now to any normal person, she might seem normal. However, her house is located over there, the abandoned one in the middle of nowhere. And she'll tell you some pretty crazy things, how she didn't like her mother, the person in that grave. According to the stuff Ursula tells you, it literally sounds like she was the reason why her mom is in that grave. And some of the stories literally cannot be repeated. You have to do this yourself. What's even better is Trevor knows this. He knows this woman has uh, some secret about her, which <laughs> isn't the best. Now, most people would go straight to the location, enjoy the night. But I don't want to go to a house. I'm taking us somewhere else. Somewhere where Rockstar don't actually tell you to go to. If it's the first time you meet her, before you take her home, you can sacrifice her at the outdress camp. Because this isn't the first time, I can't sacrifice her. That kind of sucks. <laughs> so instead, we're just going to enjoy the date. But this lady is crazy, and I would recommend avoiding her at all costs. There's too many myths surrounding her, and the only person who knows this 
This is Trevor Phillips. There is an abandoned house off the road in Sandy Shores. This is the house. It's totally abandoned, and it looks like it was even burnt down. There's furniture, wrecked cars on the outside. There is no one living here. Not a single NPC. And you can even go into the back room of the place. There is no other house quite like it. And players have come here and experienced the house actually on fire. They've even heard noises, such as screaming. This is one location I wouldn't recommend spending the nights at. There's just too many scary things about this house. And I can even look through that top window.